you're my favorite customer. I'm so excited. Hi everyone. <laughs> I can't today. I cannot like, oh, oh, CPU is excited as well. I'm dropping frames. Yay. Everything uh, might lag a little bit because I'm currently downloading, but that should be okay in a little bit. So maybe not the best idea to download a game and start the stream at the same time. But I'm so excited. How is everyone doing? Let me know. I have lemonade, which is gonna make me burp. And I have water, which is not gonna make me burp. <laughs> and we're at 50%, 50% of the game downloaded and we're instantly gonna start as soon as it's downloaded because I am <laughs> eager to play. Ah! It's been so long. Alex, were you there when I played Monkey Island 2? It was quite in the beginning of my fancy stream career. I don't know. I don't think you were there. But... Ah! <laughs> so, um... Let me recap real quick. As best as I can. So, in Monkey Island 1, you're Guybrush Threepwood. Who wants to be a pirate? and then falls in love with Elaine. Elaine Marley gets caught by the ghost pirate, AKA zombie pirate, the truck though, um, and is forced to marry him, but you get there in the last second uh, and save her, although she was about to save herself, uh, and you kill the truck using root beer. In part two, Lechuck is back because Largo Legrand um, found his beard. Actually, we had his beard. Um, but this last piece was missing to revive the zombie pirate Lechuck. And um, idiot Guybrush shows Largo the beard. So Lechuck gets revived and wants revenge. Hence... The Chuck's Revenge. Hi, Burnsy! <laughs> How are you doing? Um, so yeah, in part two, it's basically about preventing everything. But in the end, we find the Chuck. And we have a little voodoo doll. And using that voodoo doll, we kind of kill him again. 
But not really, because it turns out... It turns out that LeChuck has been our little brother, Chucky. Or was it the older brother? I don't even know if it was the older or, or younger. Anywho! Wait, what is... I'm glad I didn't see that. Oh my god. Oh my god. They did say the queen's butt. Was it nice though? Like a nice ceremony? I know that my bestie was watching this. Um, to be honest, I'm not that much into watching all that kind of stuff on TV. So I didn't watch it. But um, rest in peace, queen. Definitely. It feels like she was 800 years old, though. She had a very long time on this planet. And a very good time, I hope. Either way, I was about to to finish my little recap before we start the game. We're at 71%. Uh, in the end of Monkey Island 2, it turns out that Chucky was our brother and kind of mad at us. Uh, and then we get found and... It turns out we were at an adventure park called Big Whoop. But we never got an explanation what happened afterwards because part three, Curse of Monkey Island, was a completely different story. Kind of awkward. Um, so it's supposed to be the actual part three now. Return to Monkey Island is supposed to be the actual part three. So I wonder what we're going to learn about Big Whoop, our little brother, and how the story is gonna evolve. Ella's historical indeed. She was 96. She was actually younger than my grandma, which is kind of weird because it feels like she was 200 and something. Um, Cause she's always been there. I mean, she was there my entire life so far. So, heck yes. What a remarkable woman. What a remarkable woman. Bless her and Philip Souls. Yes, they're finally gonna have some some fun time together again. In in heaven with lots of corgis. And uh didn't she like uh jam sandwiches? Wasn't there this little story where she has the, the jam sandwich every day? So that's what they're going to do. Have jam sandwiches. Go on a walkie with the corgis. We are at 83%. If you can say anything about her was that she was dedicated. 70 years of non-stop work. As I said, it feels like it was 700 years. So props to the queen. She did a great job. I wonder if I should drink my lemonade and burp or not. If I burp, I'm sorry. But that's a lot of carbonated stuff. Mew wee you! Lulu wee you. Wee -lu. I cannot say this. Lulu wee -lu. It sounds so awkward. <gasps> Mew, how are you doing? Hi! It's so good to see you. What the fuck are our, our stupid time zones? I have no idea. I'm an excited little kid today. We are at 90%. I'm so excited. Today is the day I turn on my heater. September 19. The day when Return to Monkey Island comes on screen everywhere. <laughs> Calico! Ayo! I just drank. <laughs> then we have... Today is International Talk Like a Pirate Day. Which I believe is kind of a fun fact. But it's actually a thing. So... Arr. And... Today is also the day I turn on my heating. Because I am freezing to death. In my own living room. Back in a bit. Alrighty Calico! Okay, my teacher turned on my heater. It's freezing in here. It's freezing everywhere. It's so bad. I don't know what happened. 96%. I cannot. I'm so excited. Wish it would be cold already. 
Trust me, it sucks when it's cold at home. Outside, totally fine. I'm happy with fall and winter, but not at home. Not in your own living room. I have like 18 degrees Celsius in my living room and it's fucking cold because it feels like it's 8 and not 18. 99%! Ah! 100! We're gonna start. We're gonna start. I'm gonna go here. It's still not there. I know, I know. I haven't started the game yet, but I'm gonna boop the music. I'm gonna start the game. OMG. Heck yes! I'm so excited for this. Imagine 80 degrees Celsius. That is probably instant death. Should we have a look at the scrapbook together? It's basically what I was talking about earlier. Listen to that music. It's... It makes me so happy. Ah! Good life. Let's have a look at the scrapbook because, oh my god, it's so nice. I am so excited. I am so, like, I'm actually sweating right now. <laughs> I'm cold, but I'm sweating. <laughs> hey, want to see my mighty pirate scrapbook? It's filled with my adventures. Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to be a mighty pirate. Definitely, we all know this. Oh my god, listen to the music. Is it loud enough, by the way? In the old days, you became a pirate by completing three trials to prove your worth. Treasure hunting is important for any pirate. Mastering sword fighting was more a matter of wits than agility. You're gonna lurk? Alrighty, thanks for the lurky, Burnsy. Top tip, don't update OBS to 28. I haven't done this yet. I will definitely not do this as long as everybody keeps saying this. This is when I met Elaine, the love of my life. She was governor at the time. The pirate leaders were in charge of the three trials, acting as judge, jury, executioner, and devoted grog tasters. Oh no, Burnsy, that is bad. Heck. The test of thievery involved breaking into the governor's mansion. The security was heavy. Stream deck no working? Oh shit. Can you somehow get back the the version before? I hope you can. Did I like should Ever I? since I was a kid, that's me. Guybrush Threepwood. That's what I wanted to do. Like because I figured I haven't clicked there. Okay, the next days, page. You became things took an unexpected turn while I was working on the three trials. Could I have no plugins in OBS and nothing changed for me yet? I think I have no plugins in there as well. I don't even know what the plugins are actually. Elaine was kidnapped and taken to Monkey Island by the nefarious ghost pirate LeChuck. See, I already told you the story. LeChuck thought he was in love with Elaine. I scraped together a crew. Carla, Otis, and Meat Hook joined me on my voyage to Monkey Island to save Elaine. My first ship was the Sea Monkey. I bought it at Stan's used ships with a letter of credit that I, um, sort of falsified. Sort of. Monkey Island was a steaming volcanic mystery covered with jungle and not found on any map. You had to brew a special potion just to find Monkey Island. I made some substitutions, but it got us there just the same. You had to brew okay, a no, Monkey Island same. was a gigantic monkey head statue with hidden catacombs underneath. I'm gonna make it louder. The monkey head opened with a special key that you stuck in its ear. Is it better now? Thanks for the headsets. I met an old castaway there, Herman Toothrot. He and the locals wrote a lot of indignant letters to each other. 
LeChuck's ghostly ship was anchored in a lake of lava hidden beneath the island's surface. There were some people living there who claimed to be cannibals, but I think it was just a show for the tourists. It wasn't. It wasn't. We wound up back on Melee Island for the stunning conclusion to my first big adventure. I made it to the church just in time to stop the wedding. And we are back. <laughs> OBS. Wait. Get to see what's happening. This is bad. Why? I love how this keeps happening when my internet is fine and everything is actually fine and OBS is like, no, it's not. Oh, that looks interesting. No. <laughs> well, well, I don't know what's happening. Are we back? Are we not? I don't know. I think we are. OBS, don't fuck with me today. Do not fuck with me today. Is it working again? Give me just a little bit of an information. Because I think it is because it's green in OBS again. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do this again because I'm pretty sure you didn't hear what it said about Wally. I met my good friend Wally, who makes maps, and I stole his monocle. Good times. The mysterious voodoo lady at the International House of Mojo taught me to make a voodoo doll, which came in handy more than once. <laughs> Not Wally. Wally with a Y. The map to the treasure had been torn into four pieces, which, let's face it, is about as piratey as it gets. Elaine always seems to know when I need her. Again, it came down to just me and LeChuck at the end. He was using magic, but then, so was I. <laughs> Alex, stop it. <laughs> One time, Elaine got turned into a statue. Well, LeChuck was behind it, of course. That guy never gives up. That is Monkey Island 3. The fact that he turned her into a statue tells me LeChuck doesn't really love Elaine. He thinks of her as furniture. It was around this time that I met Murray, the allegedly all-powerful demonic skull, after a rousing sea battle. I got eaten by a snake. I erupted a volcano on purpose. There's not a lot I wouldn't do for Elaine. I got buried alive. Things backfired on LeChuck because Elaine and I got married when it was all over. Heck yes. Game, set, matchmaker. Yes. Okay, we're gonna have to look at this. This was a no. great day. Though in retrospect, we shouldn't have had the scum bar handle the catering. This is the daisy we stomped on together. Wedding traditions are weird. Mm, that's either Elaine's wedding veil or my handkerchief. We got them to match. I wrote a great haiku for the wedding invitation. I don't know why you have to have candy coated almonds at a wedding, but apparently you do. That is actually a thing, and I don't know why. Elaine and me together forever. The daggers are symbolic of cutting through troubles, I think. <laughs> oh man, this was that crazy time LeChuck teamed up with an Australian billionaire and tried to use a mystical talisman to make Elaine his bride. That was Monkey Island 4. The ultimate insult wasn't really ultimate or even an insult at all. Or was it? Nobody knows. Everything started because they thought Elaine was dead, so they held an election to replace her. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that time. I made a goofy monster out of prosthetic body parts. It didn't help with anything, but I had fun doing it. Oh yeah, that was 
That was really fun. LeChuck and I battled it out on a grand scale that okay, time. Okay, we had this before. Then there was the time I accidentally let loose LeChuck's pox over the entire Caribbean. Or so it seemed. That was the last one. And I'm not a big fan of it, but we're gonna have a look. I had to wear a hook for a while. It came in handy. Yeah, he lost his hand, actually. The death card doesn't usually represent literal physical death. Except when it does. <laughs> I went on trial for my life on four separate charges. I defended myself, of course. Oh, here's that voodoo doll from the end of my Big Whoop adventure. Oh yeah, that was so sweet. I defeated the Chuck with this. His leg came off as easy as tearing a loaf of bread. Hi, Chunky! Hello! How are you today? We're just recapping Monkey Island and then we're starting. Return to Monkey Island, finally. How are you doing? Oh. <laughs> How do I end this? Probably here. Okay. Bye leg, yes, bye leg. You rip off his leg and then it shows that it's his little brother. And then they get found by people from the adventure park from Big Whoop. And then they're um, brought to their parents. But at the end of Monkey Island 2, you can see Chucky. Am I back? I should be back. I haven't even updated. I don't know why it keeps doing this. This is wild and crazy and shitty. Anywho, mm, I was just saying I'm glad that the game has this again um, because it's a thing I have always done. I've always gone for hard mode despite it being a lot harder. I mean, some of the puzzles are pretty crazy. At least it was like that. Um, but I love this. But I love this. Like, I love the crazy puzzles and I love figuring out things. Also, I'm a pro adventure gamer. I'm not a good gamer, but I'm a pro adventure gamer. I hecking am. <laughs> Welcome back, thanks, Junkie. I have been okay. Today is the best day of my life because we have a new Monkey Island. Um, I don't even know what to say. I think today I'm going to be very focused on the game and very excited and a little happy goofball. But otherwise, <laughs> otherwise I'm still the sad person, you know. But today I'm happy. <laughs> How have you been? Have I seen your, your answer? No, I have not because... OBS a little shit. Doing well, I had a three day weekend. Awesome. So I'm relaxing on my last day before work starts again tomorrow. Awesome. That is great. And I hope you get to hang for a while to see this amazing game. So are we going to start? Because there's going to be, I hope, the wonderful title song, which is my happy song in life. So here we go. We're not gonna have the title song. An unexpected story begins. Take this, LeChuck! Uh, Guybrush, come over here. Gently now. Remove my mask. That's Will the ending of... To stop picking on me? That's all the right, end of Monkey Island right, 2. I promise. Anything. Put my leg back on. Hey, you kids. You're not supposed to be in here. <laughs> <laughs> That's the end. What's next? Let's goof on those two. Pretend they're our parents. <laughs> yeah. Sorry we ran off. You were probably worried about murderers and ne'er-do-wells. Don't worry. I found him. Let's <laughs> <laughs> shine. <laughs> Um, come on, let's go. Let's pretend I have powers that make lightning come out of my eyes. It's so lifelike. I wonder if it's real. Is he gonna do the thing with his eyes? 
Is he? Is he? No, he's not. Sorry, boys. Could you stop following us? It's creepy. Yes, yes sir. sir. Come on. So they're actually. Dog shack back there. I am confused. Scurvy dogs. I've never had one of those. No way. You have to try one. It's the best thing you'll ever eat in your life. No fooling. Wow. I feel like we're gonna like. Can we? We we need more subtitles. I think before we do anything. Not sound video. Interface. No. Text and language. <laughs> I'm an idiot. It's so easy, right? But <laughs> okay. I mean, I kind of would like to do the writer's cut, but we're not going to do this. Is this going to work? Ooh. We're not going to. We're not going to whoop with everything. <laughs> so you say it looks colorful and you like it. That's that's actually something that nobody has been saying about the game. Actually, it's got a scurvy dog that was bigger than my head. Ooh. So basically, everyone is hating on the on the style, um, which. I kind of understand because I'm also one of those people that played it a hundred years ago and just fell in love with the pixel style. But I did love the style of Curse of Monkey Island, so I'm fine with this. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese inside. I kind of want a scurvy dog now. Mm, I guess that for people who haven't played the game before, just like I just said, um, they're gonna like this because it's... It's something new. Like, I haven't seen a game that looks like this. Let's be fully honest. Um, to me, it's weird because it feels I like it's... Had the hiccups for four days straight. <laughs> Could you shut up, Chucky? Um, to me, it looks like a children's game. Which is weird because all the OG fans are like 30 plus years old. And this is why most of the people didn't like it, I guess. Uh, we got used to a different style. But I believe it's pretty cool, actually. I, I wonder how the gaming is going to feel. Did you know you can keep a scurvy dog warm by sticking it in your armpit? That is disgusting, Chucky. I'm going to wait. I'm just going to wait for OBS to stop with the hiccups. Not the armpits breaking it. This is so annoying. Why does it have to be like this today Let's of all days? A scurvy dog, a Shein score butt. Score butt. That's butt spot. It says return outhouse key when finished or else. No. And we're back. Stop fucking with me, OBS. Stop it. I'm gonna ask the counter guy for stuff. You kids better have money. Uh, yeah. We've got all kinds of money. Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight, that's money that grown-ups use. I know what a piece of eight is. Good for you. You can have a couple of dogs if you give me one. Please? Can't you spare something for a couple of hungry kids? Right. Aww. Listen up, you little moocher. Let me tell you something. I don't like kids. I'm an honest businessman trying to make an honest living. I don't need 50 kids a day coming in and wasting my time trying to get me to give them free food. Well, no scurvy dogs then. I guess, never mind. Hey, I know. Let's look for change in the outhouse across the way. Coins fall out of people's pockets when they sit down in there. That's a businessman talking. 
We're gonna snag the key. I'll bring this right back, sir. You'd be wise to do that. I got the leg from the last kid who didn't bring back the key. Oh, he's mean. I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. Ew. <laughs> okay, that's the outhouse. It's locked. Good thing I've got the key in my pocket. Okay, I need to use it. I see. Grabs. Good! You unlocked it! Ta-da! Ew, that is so disgusting. It isn't a piece of eight, but it's a round piece of metal about the same size and shape as a piece of eight. That's called a slug. It's like a fake coin. Can I take it? A fake coin is almost as good as a real coin. <laughs> Why did he mention his weird tooth? I don't know. That's the weird humor of Monkey Island. It is wild and it's funny. Oh. Okay, no coins down there. Chucky, why don't you look in the toilet? No way. You do it. Okay. <laughs> I mean, honestly, this is this is weird coming from me. Hi, Razor. Did you hello. Know your feet won't smell if you don't wash them. Captions won't be working for Razor, so hello, Razor. I sadly still can't do sign language. I should definitely learn sign language. How cool would that be? All I can spell is my name. But I hope you're doing fine. I hope you are good. I look exhausted. I look happy though. Would anyone want to look in the toilet because money? <laughs> I slept a lot though. This weekend I have slept for about I don't know 24 hours I guess in total. At home I've got a collection of old so. sturdy dog sticks that fills a whole <laughs> Thank <shoe> you. <laughs> Chucky has good ideas. Read the sign. Please wash hands before leaving outhouse. I should what? I'm not touching that gunk. It seems more like something Chucky would do. Ew. Convince Chucky to wash his hey, hands. Chucky, it says you're supposed to wash your hands. I never wash my hands. I dare you to take a drink of this. <laughs> no way, I'm not doing that. I double dare you to take a drink of this. Don't want to get sick before I get my scurvy dog. I double dog dare you to take a drink of this. I'll do it for a million pieces of eight. You will? No. I triple dibble dare you to drink this. I'll do it if you do it first. Okay. What's that over there? Where? Okay, I took a drink. You did not. Did so. Did not. Did so. Do it again then. Okay, you don't have to drink, but I dare you to wash your hands. Fine. <laughs> Ew. Ew. Ah, that's so disgusting. Ew. You actually did it. Some places you go have scurvy dogs with cheese. Your turn. No way. I have to. Your turn. No way. Your what happens turn. if I keep on doing no this? Is he going to do it? That is one of those Easter eggs. <laughs> OBS, your little I shit. Want to see two scurvy dogs at the same time. We're back. That's where the outhouse key was. I have to put it back, right? Hey, look! I'm returning the key. You at least you left the house. Yes, I did. <laughs> Okay, let's, uh... Oh, I got an achievement. Peg leg. Now what? Can we get a couple of scurvy dogs? Sure. If you give me a piece of eight. There you go. I have an 
extra tooth in the back. I, I, I can feel it with my tongue. Go away, this is disgusting, Jackie. What can we get with this? Ew! Tastes like a piece of eight. Enough for a couple of scurvy dogs if you want. Perfect! Take them, boy. What are you getting? What? Just kidding. Here's yours. <laughs> Disgusting. This is the perfect food. What do you want to do now? I don't know. Sure. What do you want to do? Let's have a look at the to-do list. Mess around and explore and find our real parents. We're speechless. I get that though. I'm gonna check the barrel. What the heck? I can't! Sounds real. Sounds real. Wakey, wakey, Mr. Pirate. Um. Hello? <laughs> He's dead to the world. I don't know this game. I haven't played it yet. I mean, it's only been released not even an hour ago. <laughs> Can't get spoiled for a bit. You should get spoiled for a bit because Monkey Island is the best in the world. How are you doing, Minty? Hey, Chucky, get ready to run. <sighs> I guess they don't like visitors. Definitely not. We're gonna go this way. Can we get a flower? You have it installing? Awesome. That's my friend D. Hey D. Hey Chucky. What are you jerk faces up to? We just got here. I'm making a list of stuff to do. Give me that. I'm an expert planner. Oh god. There. Perfect. See you around the park, Sidheads. Why is she so gross? Oh dear god. Good thing I have a thousand things to do now. Also, Junior Mighty Pirates to-do list. How cute is that? How cute is that? Okay, check out the anchor. That's a cool anchor. <sighs> that just shows how little you know about anchors. This one's not a very good example. You'd know that if you read as much about anchors as I have. Did you know that anchors originally weren't designed to hold ships in place? They were used in combat. Shot from cannons as a grapple when you were trying to board another ship. They started making them bigger and bigger because they would do more damage that way. <laughs> then people noticed what happened when you missed the other ship and hit the sea bottom instead. The current bow shaped design is actually less effective than the sharper Garbage beach shaped drifting design away. that was popular last century. But the older design went out of fashion after sailors started to think the letter V was bad luck. I you cannot. can still find the old kind around sometimes, but collectors have grabbed most of them. On a modern anchor, if you look close, you can tell that one side is a little larger than the other. That's to prevent what's called plummeting, where the anchor goes down too evenly, and then it doesn't catch well on the bottom. Hey, Paul! The little flanges at the Hi. tips are at different angles to make it twist. It is also my Shiloh Ramos. Reason. Most anchors these days are made of iron, and you have to recast them like twice a year because I will they not rust. skip through the dialogue. About 30 years ago, somebody thought of a way to get around <laughs> that by making them out of wood instead. All kinds of people invested a lot of money in these wooden anchor companies, but the only way they could keep them from floating was to attach another <laughs> this is wild. anchor. And so they gave up and went back to the old Even the checklist life. is perfectly the aligned to the broad margin. <laughs> Meaning city. How are you doing, Paul? Because when you stop in the She's literally of the ocean, resetting the exact like Wikipedia for Anchor, is she? City. Yeah, I'm kind of an expert on anchors. I read a. Uh, Gabbers just died. <laughs> oh, okay. Good. So, next thing on the list beat Chucky in a race. How am I gonna do this? I wonder where this path goes. Is this a race? Yes. Hey, Chucky. Want a race? You're on. 
I'll officiate. Three, two, one. Hey, she <laughs> You have to wait until I say go. I wonder where this path goes. I wonder where this path I want to challenge him to a race again. Heg. Hey, Chucky. Want to race? You're on. I'll officiate. In three, two, one, go! He was faster, Chucky though. Wins! Yeah! Darn! Well, I fucked up. <laughs> Met an exam about anchors for no Brent, reason. That'd be they bad. They call a scurvy dog a Shein score butt. Oh, I have to beat him in the race. Oh heck. Okay. You up for another race? You're on. I'm I'll gonna fuck this up again. Three, two, one. <laughs> hey, Gina, you have to wait until I say. Go. I run too fast. I just always run too fast. You up for another race? Oh my god, this is gonna be so bad. Two, one, go! Chucky wins! Not again! Yeah! Nice! Aren't that reminds you of Crystallis? I don't know this game. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Chucky wins! How is he so slow? What do I have to do? Yeah. Darn. How do I win? You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Chucky wins! I don't like this. Yeah. Next time for sure. Yeah, next time we're gonna make this happen. Somehow, hopefully. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. How do I win this? Two, one, go! I literally Jackie pressed wins. and go. Hank. Time up to the anchor. Yeah. That is not Darn. really. I wonder where this path goes. You up for another race? How did I make this happen though? I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! Look, I start at the Jackie same time, wins. I'm just a lot slower. Why am I so slow? Yeah! Next time for sure! I can't cheat. I gotta talk to D. I bet I've known Chucky longer than you have. No chance. We go way back. Okay, I don't talk to D. Um, feed the duck. Hey, hands off. Why are you so rude? Excuse me. Yes? Could we have some of your bread to feed the duck? I don't think so. We brought it for ourselves. Rude bitch. That's our bread. I don't care. Excuse me. Yes? Will you pretend to be our parents again? What do you mean, again? How about click multiple times while we'll running? Find your real parents. I could try this. You up for another race? You're on. I'll officiate. Three, two, one, go! I win! <laughs> Whoops! <laughs> I didn't know. How did you know this, Minty? How did you know this? <laughs> Poor you Chucky. Know feet won't smell if you don't wash them. How can I get the bread? I need a distraction. I wonder what's in that basket. Let's find out. What do you think you're doing? Kids these days. I cannot with OBS today. <laughs> Fucking OBS. Why today? Jesus. I got you ketchup. Should put that on your scurry dog.
The sad thing is, I am still connected to the internet, so I get chat stuff and everything. But I don't know why OBS is fucking around. I can stand on my head without using my hands. I should be back now again. I want to feed the duck. Hi again. Hi. I want to feed the duck too. Want to close OBS and restart it? I don't think that's gonna help. It's... I have an extra tooth in the back. I can feel it with my tongue. I think this is just because I'm happy today and OBS likes to fuck with me when I'm happy. Let's be frank. You can never hope to beat me. No way! You'll never catch up to my level! I win! I win! Nuh-uh! <laughs> you guys are both pretty weak. Well, anyway, that was fun! Was that on the list, actually? It was. Okay, find a four-leaf clover and make a wish at the wishing well. Do not pick the four-leaf clovers. <laughs> there not it is. I found one. I picked it. Oh no. Awesome. There was still one left? Darn. I already found a four-leaf clover. I never thought I'd ever find one. Okay. Make a wish at the wishing well. I'm gonna have to find out how to get the... the bread for the ducky. I should find a coin to throw in. There it is. Maybe I should throw this down the wishing well. I wish Chucky had a mustache. That'd be fun. I don't know. I'm I wish Chucky wish had for a it. mustache. Ah. <laughs> oh. <gasps> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> this was fun. Okay, next thing. Find our real parents and somehow... Are we done here? We might not be able to Look come back if we head this way. Yes, we know I have a king for mustaches. Go away. What? Boop. That is Guybrush. Hey, Dad. Hello, Mr. Threepwood. Hey, kids. Having fun? Yeah. We got scurvy dogs. Those have toenails and stuff in them. Ugh, I read about it. And we were playing your adventures. We just did Big Whoop. Big Whoop. Oh boy, that takes me back. I like it when Chucky asked me to put his leg back on. He says it really funny. You guys always make up the craziest stuff for the ending of that story. It's what? Fun. But you can't just change it around. That's not how storytelling works. A lot of your stories don't feel like they're finished at the end. What do you mean? Well, like, there's this one that you call The Secret of Monkey Island, where you went to Monkey Island and fought LeChuck. Oh, that story has a great ending. There's punching and fireworks. I thought you liked that one. But you never did find the secret. Not the real one. Sure, but that's not what that story was about. Kids, let me tell you a story that is about finding the secret of Monkey Island. Is this a long story? I think maybe I gotta go use the bathroom or something. Yeah, I have to go um, walk my tarantula. Maybe I should go with them. No, no, stick around. This is a good one. See, there was a rumor going around that my old nemesis, LeChuck, had somehow discovered the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. I knew I had to get it before he did, so I went to Melee to get my own expedition started and beat him to the punch. Also, hi, Ariel. I didn't want to. Is this gonna give me the, is it, no? Are we gonna get the title song? Are we gonna get the title song? We're gonna get the title song.
praise the Lord. I'm so happy right now. Minty, this is actually the sequel to five games. <laughs> this is actually the sequel to five games since 1990. Uh, feels good to be back on Melee Island. The hub of pirating in the Caribbean, where every good expedition begins. I'll see some old pals and get things rolling. Or sailing in this case. Hi, I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Threepwood. Remember me? Haven't seen you in a while, Threepwood. What have you been up to? Oh, you know, freebooting mostly. Swashing buckles and so on. But now I'm getting an expedition together to find the secret of Monkey Island. Oh, you're sailing with LeChuck? What? LeChuck's here in Melee? Is there widespread panic? Are people evacuating? Ah, he doesn't seem interested in carnage at the moment. Ship's just here taking on supplies and crew, as far as I can tell. Well, anyway, no. I'm not sailing with LeChuck. Do you know my history with him? Mm. Yes. He's an evil zombie ghost pirate, terror of the seas, and sometimes the land. A nefarious, conniving, murdering scallywag. A depraved, yes. ruthless villain. And a loud talker. And I'm not those things. They say opposites attract, but what do I know? The Chuck kidnapped my wife. He's always had designs on her. I sailed to Monkey Island to find them and get her back. Oh, I thought you weren't married yet when that happened. And didn't she more or less rescue herself? She That's did. not the point. We've been enemies for my whole career. Everywhere I go, there he is. He plagues me. He's my nemesis. Funny. He said the same thing about you. <laughs> that guy steals all my best ideas. Are you Chucky sure is stinky. the other way around? Seems like he was here first. I don't know how he found out, but I'm sure he's just doing this to get one up on me. I'm mounting my own voyage. Mine. Well, you'd better get cracking then. The Chuck's loading up on the outer dock as we speak. Well, I'm gonna hire a ship and a crew and beat him to the punch. Just as soon as I can get someone to back the venture. Heck yes. I'm a little short on funds at the moment. In that as case, usual. you'll want to go talk to the pirate leaders at the scum bar. Exactly. That's why I came to Melee. It'll be great to see those old guys again. We'll knock back a grog and hash out the details. Scum bar. By the docks. Long table in the back. I know where I'm going. We'll see. What is it with the little rat here? Again. <laughs> oh, I can warm my hands. <laughs> I could stare at this forever, but that wouldn't be much fun for you. That is true, though. The anchor trivia is becoming more and more menacing knowing the entire game is a pirate adventure. Heck yes, it is. Minty, do you know anything about Monkey Island? <laughs> also, today it's International Talk Like a Pirate Day. So that is why... Return to Monkey Island was released today. Hi, Ash! How are you doing, my love? How are you? Today is excitement day. Today is Monkey Island day. Let's check out the beautiful island. It looks so different now. I can't even hate on it. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's dedicated to dedication. Wait, Carla is the governor? That is wild. Just heard about everyone talking about the game. Betty, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> like, okay, I download it. Well, most of the people downloading this today are OG fans from 1990. Um, and have been extremely excited about finally getting 
a new game, especially since it's made from the original person who did it, Ron Gilbert. So, nine ads, oh Jesus Christ. Oh, Jesus. There's another rat. What is it with the rats? There are so many rats. So that is Chucky's ship. What, what do I have on my list? Okay. I have the nine ads on for the beginning of the stream and I don't know why, why it takes so long. Heck. Why do I have an exclamation point there? Shall I watch a walkthrough of all five games before starting? You should actually play them before starting this one. It is highly recommendable, Minty. These games were my entire childhood and my entire happiness. It's the one thing I have that makes me happy. Let's, uh... I better get cracking if I want to get to the secret before that scheming blackguard. Can we not get there? I'll talk to the pirate leaders before I go see what LeChuck okay. is up to. Thanks for the lurky, Ariel. I'm too broke. This is not... This is not an excuse because the games go on Steam sale for like one dollar since they're so old oh my god it's giving me the OG scum bar music I cannot I love this I need to talk to I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition in the back obviously I'm here to talk to the pirate leaders about a new expedition It's a book for storing collectible trivia cards. Looks like someone just left it here unattended. Do I want it? Yes, I want it. And the bag of the scum bar is the kitchen. There are so many pages. Ten pages. Jesus Christ. Looks like a circus act. I'm still Maybe. too broke. Like you bought this one, haven't you? <laughs> Have you seen the pirate leaders around? This is their table. In fact, you'd probably better move. You don't want to get caught sitting here. It's our table, Rummy. Oh, we're the pirate leaders. Get lost. First, uh, if I were going to experience like um, a kid in the late 2000s, it would just be me watching a walkthrough of it on YouTube. Okay. Well, I played my first Monkey Island in 1995, I think. <laughs> is, is it you? Who I should talk to about financing an expedition? An expedition. Who is it that you think you are exactly? Well. I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Probably you've heard of me. Probably not. Permission to slaughter the annoying old wastrel man, Captain Madison. Old? Wait, it was Captain Madison? She's like famous. I've got her on a trading card. Her plunder stats are amazing. Plunder stats aren't everything. Then the others were Captain Lila and Captain Trent. It was Lila who threatened to kill you? Look, they weren't that great, okay? Listen to the story. Want me to slaughter him? Happy Don't boating. He's Thanks, Minty. Thank you so much for stopping by. For a pirate raid. Have a good one, Minty. I'm going to find the secret of Monkey Island. You're wasting our time. The secret? I didn't think that was even a real thing. Mm. It's a mystery for the ages that must be solved. The only mystery here is who let you into this bar. <laughs> Why are they so stinky? <laughs> okay, I'm Thanks for the lurk. but hear me out. Would you at least consider advancing me some funds? It's a surefire investment. Triple your money or your money back. Not interested. 
could make it worth your while to help me hire a crew. The percentage of their earnings or something? No one in here wants to chase your pipe dream. Could you at least point me towards an available ship? You don't even have a ship. You're really up a creek. Up a creek without a ship. <laughs> well, if you don't take this opportunity, LeChuck will grab it. LeChuck? Yes. The dreaded zombie ghost pirate LeChuck himself is also going after the secret. He's here in Melee getting ready right now. If that doesn't prove it's a worthwhile venture, I don't know what else to tell you. Great. Problem solved. Excellent. You'll do it. No, of course not. Why waste money on an expedition when you can just join the one that's already going? Have fun with your scary ghost friend. Bye bye. I'm well, supposed the to join problem him. Problem with that idea is that LeChuck and I are no. basically mortal enemies. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> Also, the fact that I haven't fed the ducky <laughs> is making me sad. Fine. I don't need you or your money. I can do this on my own. I can't. If I can't buy a ship, I'll steal one. I'm a pirate. Heck yes. I'll find a way to get to Monkey Island no matter what it takes. This. Let's go. I like the old pirate leaders better. They were nice. Okay, get or find a ship. Also, do we have new trivia? No, we have not. That is weird. I've got a few coins for incidentals. The pen is mightier than the sword. Oh yeah, I have this the- This has gotten me out of a lot of scrapes over the years. I have the horse armor, which was a gift um, for the pre-purchase, but it's completely useless. <laughs> can I go there? Oh, we can. Okay. Le ship. Ah! Clever. I cannot. Expedition to fabled Monkey Island. Crew positions available. Serve under LeChuck, the most fearsome pirate on the eight seas. Equal opportunity employer. Inquire here. For what? Looking for a job? Step this way. The clipboard in your hand says you're the quartermaster. The crew says I'm the quartermaster. Clipboard doesn't get a vote. She looks fancy though. You look like a guy without many options. You want a job? I'm sure to swabby. LeChuck's an equal opportunity employer. Even humans are mostly tolerated. Have you got anything more senior? Well, I need a second mate, a bosun, a ship surgeon, and a gunner. Do you think you're qualified for any of those? Well... I could be second mate. Do you honestly have any idea what a second mate does? No. Goes to store openings and funerals and waits for the first mate to be incapacitated? I thought so. Well, I'd make a great bosun. Exactly what qualifications have you got for that? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. That is true. I can confirm. Okay, maybe eight. Don't waste my time, okay? How about ship surgeon? I assume you have some kind of medical degree. Is that a definite requirement? Sorry. I could be the gunner. Oh, I'd be great at that. Boom, boom. You look a little scrawny. What do you bench? Bench? No problem. I sat on one for 12 hours once. I can take it. I have a lot to do today. That is not a fart cloud. That is like voodoo magic, actually. It's all the bad stuff. Like, everything that's kind of like green and foggy, that's that's always LeChuck. Maybe Swabby's not so bad after all. The only requirement is that you bring your own mop. If you've got a mop, your job is... Hey. Hey, wait a minute. What's your name, sailor? Um... Smith. John Smith. Uh-huh. LeChuck gave me a blacklist and you're on it. In fact, you are the blacklist. Oh. I'm sorry. Can't hire you. You're obviously Guybrush Threepwood. Well, that's a slight hitch. 
I'm confused. Didn't you say you were going to get your own ship? Yes, but then suddenly I thought, why bother? I wanted a ship and a crew. Here was a ship and a crew. Ripe for the taking. All I had to do was get on board, wait for the right moment, and strike. Strike? Mutiny the crew, seize the ship. Be a pirate. Except they wouldn't hire you because they knew who you were. Yeah, that was a problem. Also, I needed a mop. And I didn't have a mop. I hope this isn't one of those party cruises. Say what you want about my evil, horrible nemesis, LeChuck, but he does know how to stock a ship. Ooh, a trivia card. Let's use it. Below the cliff on Monkey Island is... A rubber tree. Wait, there is a rubber tree, though. How did it go away? I'm sad now. Looks like this is going to be a long journey. Can I go on the ship? No, I cannot. Why was Wally in such a hurry? He wouldn't Ooh. sell us out to Madison, would he? I believe he needed to relieve the pressure upon him in a different way. <laughs> yes, Wally. Wally. Elaine? Guy brush. Wait, are you going to tell a mushy part now? Well, a little, but I can skip over the hugs and kisses. Elaine. Guy brush. Remind me how long we've been married. Well, it still feels like the first day somehow. How's your scurvy prevention project? It's great! We're going to get a lot of limes to a lot of sailors and save a lot of lives. I've got to come up with a way to deal with Captain Madison, though. The Madison pressure sucks. she's putting on the town is making it hard for social programs like mine. Uh, sounds like we've both met Captain Madison. I don't like her. She's the one who pushed to shut down the shipyard. She doesn't understand the value of the secret of Monkey Island. She laughed at me. Me too. Obviously, the woman has no taste and a lousy sense of humor. You won't believe how I'm getting to Monkey Island. I've known you a long time. Try me. I'm planning to sign on to LeChuck's crew, mutiny them, and take the ship. Oh, dear. Isn't there an easier way? No. Nope. Oh, trust me. That is the easy way. That is the easy way, indeed. I feel better just talking to you. Me too. That is love. You've probably got to get going. You say goodbye first. No, you say bye 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 first. How long can we keep this up? <laughs> no, you say bye first. Okay. Bye. Bye. <laughs> the problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. It's Carla, huh? It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat scurvy. It's important, but boring. I never once made it all the way to the end. It's Elaine's flyer about how limes combat I, I scurvy. Wanna, I kind of want to have it, though. Elaine would kill me if she caught me pulling down her flyers. I want to I wanna read it, though. The real voodoo. Well, the voodoo here must be authentic, culturally, and historically accurate. The sign says so. They're having a half-off sale. Awesome. Ah, the International House of Mojo. This place hasn't changed in years. Welcome, Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again. She's I from have home. been waiting for you. Hey, Jen. Hello there. How are you doing? I'm plenty. To sail with LeChuck is most brash, Guybrush. But it is what you must do. Allow me to seek knowledge on your behalf. Will it cost me anything? Pride. 
free will. Not much. Always good. Whoop. The way to the secret is like a serpent which swallows itself. Mm -hmm. Many obstacles lie ahead. Obviously. Serpent, obstacles, got it. Okay. Mm. That's you bad. You must walk the path. Yet you have already walked the path. Mm -hmm. And now I'm going back again. What's this? When you are unsure of the way forward, open this book for guidance on what is to come. Mm -hmm. It can tell me my future? In a way. Think of it as a book of hints. What is it really? A book of hints. <laughs> Use it wisely. To know too much diminishes the voyage. Neat. Thanks. No charge. Okay. Should we talk more? You're doing better. Found out the cause of all the stuff that was going on with me. That's good. It's always good to know what's going on, and then you can do stuff about it. Oh, there's a trivia card. Um, I'm I'm glad you're doing better. That is very very nice to hear. I am so excited about this game. Like, I'm just a bit frustrated because OBS keeps dying on me today, and I don't know why. But I'm I'm also happy. Let's just hope it doesn't. Keep happening. Happening. It says everything must go, but it says it with numbers. Do you do gift wrapping? We're out of wrapping paper, unless you'd like it wrapped in the skin of a lizard. You have no PTSD. Well, that probably makes sense to you. And then you can work on that. That's always good to know. Next time I'm in a drum circle, this would come in handy. This is a neat symbol. What does it mean? That used to contain magical disguises. But alas, they have all gone. Yeah, it's too bad you're sold out. A magic disguise seems really useful. There is always the famous eye patch of John Laney at the museum. I'm sure the magic has worn off by now. But I believe I could restore its abilities. So I guess I'm gonna go and get that. An empty basket. I should have gotten here last month. Too bad it's empty. It's a creepy shrunken head with long stringy hair. I didn't know these were a voodoo thing. They're not. But the tourists like them. Fair enough. Keep up the good work, buddy. A crystal. Yeah, this isn't that kind of game. Everything's spilled out of it in a puddle. Not for me. It looks like it's been there forever. It's an unusual safe with five keyholes. Alas, the safe is not for sale. It has been placed with me for safekeeping. Pointy. It is a non-magical ceremonial knife. Very sharp indeed. I'll be explaining repeated nightmares and other things. So are you gonna go in therapy now and hopefully work on it and get rid of those nightmares? Nobody needs nightmares. That is... This is not enjoyable. Jesus Christ, I just looked outside. What the heck is this weather? It's looking very fancy outside. It's giving me voodoo vibes. What's this thing? It's a, a frog. forgiveness frog. When no apology will do, give the forgiveness frog. It's like a card, only much better because it's a frog. I've never heard of that before. Are you sure it's real voodoo? No comment. It works. I kind of want that frog now. I'll take this forgiveness frog. It can help someone forgive even very old transgressions. <laughs> it is mine now. Can I also have this? Still going through Ooh, therapy? I like this knife. Good. An excellent that is choice. Good. I, I hope it's going to help you. To verbally agree to a release of liability. Okay. This product is not to be used in the commission of any crime, including vandalism, jailbreak, and theft of ancient priceless artifacts. No problem. Threatening, frightening, stabbing, shaving, or manicuring yourself or another person are likewise considered outside the scope of acceptable use. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, I guess. The product is not balanced for throwing. 
Throwing the product violates these terms and will invalidate the warranty. Mm -hmm. Whittling, scrimshaw, <laughs> mumbledy peg, juggling, and any tricks involving stacking or balancing the product may cause serious injury and should not be attempted by unlicensed persons. Uh -huh. Use with threads, spreads, bedspreads, or thread may damage the product. If damaged, the product should not be used. The okay. product is sharp and should not be carried in a pocket, coat, belt, hat band, handbag, shoulder holster, or sheath. Mm -hmm. At all times, keep the product away from children, pets, the aged or infirm, clowns, pirates, and adults. Well, I'm a Where pirate, possible, though. it should be locked securely in a vault. The manufacturer accepts no responsibility for the consequences of any use or misuse of this product. By verbally assenting to these terms, Purchaser hereby assumes all liability, past, present, and future, throughout this and all possible and impossible universes. Oh, is this where I say yes? Yes. Yes. Is there anything I am allowed to do with it? I am not able to answer that question, as it could create a liability issue. Okay. Can I have anything else? Oh, I can have this head. I'm just gonna buy everything at this point, I guess. I'll take this disgusting shrunken head. That's my last one. Quite the bargain. Thank you. I don't want this. Oh, I can open it. I'd need a lot of keys to open that. I cannot. How much for the safe? It is not for sale at any price. Okay, I can it. As I said, it. it has been placed with me for safekeeping. Okay. Should I talk to her a little more? What's cooking? The feast of knowledge. I don't suppose you sell mops. Hmm. I cannot guide you on matters of mops. The true master is the cook at the scum bar. Okay. Your sign says you're going out of business. Or is this one of those not really going out of business, going out of business sales? Like There's mattress a shops? New dark magic on the rise in the Caribbean. It has many adherents, particularly among the young. There is little demand for my talents or my wares. Business is terrible, and there are other factors. Captain Madison desires this Fucking location. Captain Madison, nobody that likes her. That belongs to me will be of little help against her financial and political powers. Whoa, back up. Dark magic, you said? I did. How does dark magic work? Runes, chemicals, the power of secrets. I am no expert. It's too sterile for my tastes. I like things messy and theatrical. Okay. Is dark magic powerful? powerful I'm just doing yes, all the dialogues. It can be, but dangerous. If the badger chews his own tail, soon there is no more badger. You like that metaphor a lot, don't you? It has many uses. Can dark magic get me to Monkey Island? No. Nuts. <laughs> no. Really like her voice? Yeah, she's so calming. Where can I get my hands on some dark magic? Dark magic is not your path, Guybrush Threepwood. Okay. Do you know more about this John Laney guy with the eye patch? Captain no dark John magic for Laney me. was renowned as the pirate of a thousand faces. It was said that he could fool his best friend with nothing more than an eye patch. That legend is true, but only because the eye patch he used was filled with much voodoo I'm magic. I'm sure we need the, the eye, eye patch, patch still exists. so we can it get on the ship. It is on at the Museum of Pirate Law here on Mele Island. If an enterprising person such as yourself were to liberate it, and bring it here, I could most likely get it working again. Got it. Thanks. Can you use your talents to tell me how Elaine is right now? She is always close, no matter the distance. Do your answers ever make sense? 
There are no answers, only questions that are finished. Are you able to see what LeChuck is up to? Your goals and the goals of LeChuck are aligned, as always. But True. his intentions are darker. He would use the secret to do terrible things. Dark-er? What's that supposed to mean? LeChuck must not acquire the secret. No argument there. Uh, is this the year when you finally tell me your name? It's become almost a running gag between us. But it's awkward, like when your glass is empty but you keep trying to drink out of it over and over. It is Corina. Oh, okay. Corina. We finally nice. get her name! Somehow it was more exciting before I knew that. That is true of many things. She's not the voodoo lady anymore. She has a name. I'm gonna cry. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? Stock tips or something? No. Okay. She has a name. Voodoo lady sounds cool, it does. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. Oh, this was my favorite <gasps> novelty I store. Wally. Looks like Wally's got a new place in Melee. I hope he's not still sore about the monocle. I needed it. Did it go here? No. Let's see Wally! Hey, Buff Wally. lady. Well, well, well. Look what the surf washed ashore. It's Guybrush Threepwood. Nice to see you again, too, Wally. Whatever your last name is. I spent years in therapy getting over being burned, blinded, blown up, abandoned, and marooned because of you. <laughs> yeah, good times, huh? You're lucky I'm past all that and am running the best map shop within the Caribbean and beyond. Poor guy. I'm looking for a mop. This is maps and more, not mops and more. <laughs> well, I was hoping the and more might include mops. <laughs> well, it doesn't. Try asking the cook over at the bar where he got his. Oh my god. You wouldn't happen to have a map to the secret of Monkey Island. Funny you should ask. I recently made one on commission, but then they destroyed all my source material. It is the only one in existence. Best of luck to you. Obviously, LeChuck's got it. You have a lot of maps in here. We've got so many, you need a map to find them all. <laughs> a little cartographer humor. Yeah, I'd forgotten how so funny. funny. So funny. Looks like the shop across the way is in trouble. The high stakes, ego driven world of pirating is changing, and dark magic is taking over. Voodoo magic is fun and all, but it's not what the new generation wants. Me? I'm on the bleeding edge and making a bundle. I'm about to franchise. Awesome. The town seems to be pretty run down. Since Captain Madison made Melee her base of operations, people have been complaining. They say she brings a bad element to town, but that bad element spends a lot of money on maps. So, what am I supposed to do? Do what's right? I am. I'm doing what's right. For Wally. It's great to see you landed on your feet after all these years. Business has been booming with all these new dark magic pirates. Captain Madison has me on a lucrative retainer. She I still pays don't extra like her. for a bunch of wacky symbols I just make up. Hmm? I'll let you get back to cartographing. That's not a real word. It is uh -huh. though. They're like glasses, only way less convenient. Can we steal it? Ooh, look behind you, a three-headed monkey. Oh, please take one. I use them to promote my business. See, <laughs> it says maps and more on the edge. Uh, thanks. <laughs> Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. If you pay for it. Never mind. It's a map on a fan. What will they think of next? This map shows both sides of the globe. It's twice the value. Awesome. Ooh, looks chilly up there. We stole it, but 
Also not. It's a long, small map of somewhere far, far away. This must be Trouser Island. Actually, Mr. Threepwood, it's... Yep, Trouser Island. I had a map like this once, but I sailed left. That looks like a treacherous voyage. It says, Rating, Cursed Black Diamond. It's maps wrapped in maps. I didn't know you could do that. The first rule of piracy is, never buy a used treasure map. Good old mazes. Can't get enough mazes. Ooh, this one looks nice. A handsome How much map. is it? Oh, that one? Too much. Hey, Wally. What's with the window ladder? I use it to keep an eye on the neighbors. Well, it's good to have a hobby. <laughs> hey, Wally. What's in these boxes? Maps. What else? Somewhat understated and somewhat overpriced. I try to steer clear of sea monsters myself. Even the doormat is some kind of a map. I appreciate that Wally hasn't traded it in for a new model just because it's been around the block once or twice. I feel very strongly about that for some reason. I didn't know you made globes, too. I don't. This is for reference. It's got all the latest continents. <laughs> Ooh, those look fancy. The finest tools to make the finest maps. Heck yes. Okay. We've checked out everything. So... Oh, that yeah. clock that always clock shows 10 o'clock. It never shows any other time. Oop. Classic. Lichuk, sir. Just thought I'd pop in and let you know. Preparations to set sail are almost done. You have all the supplies for the spell to get to Monkey Island? Check. Squid ink, chickens, brimstone, cinnamon, monkey blood, mint, and an annoying skull. Well done! An Mark annoying yourself skull. down for one less lashing this voyage. <clears throat> A funny story. Guybrush Threepwood tried to sign on to the crew. Threepwood? Oh, he God. must be looking for the secret, too. Mm, that guy steals all my best ideas. Have him killed. Oh, no. Don't Wait. kill me. Let him live. I want him to see me sail off for Monkey Island knowing the secret is lost to him forever. Sure. I want to bring this up one more time. He's searching for this mythical secret of Monkey Island a good idea. What is this Should we be out dead thing on the, the left? High seas, instilling fear, creating mayhem, being more on brand for Lichuk. I've had enough of you questioning my orders. Finish loading the ship, and whatever you do, don't let Threepwood on board. I will get Very on board, well. though. I will get that eye patch. Oh, who are you? Hi. Everybody thinks they know more than the other. Okay. Oh, there's another trivia card. Is that everything? Once you have a key, you've got to open the door. Makes sense. The note says, forced to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. <laughs> the note says, okay, okay, forced get in. to close. Thanks for the memories, but cash would have been better. in the alley. Oh, those old memories. Seems to be stuck closed. Too bad. Aww, this is where I risked my neck for Elaine, and she showed me she only needed me to risk my heart. Also, so true. the windows need some work. So true. Let's go to jail. A visitor! <laughs> Wait. Guybrush Threepwood? <laughs> Otis! Howdy, kid! And Stan! Otis, old pal. You haven't changed much since I last saw you. I blame the government. In fact, didn't we first meet right here? We Not did. at all. I was in the other cell that time. That is you true. You look different somehow. Uh, 
New art style? Mm -hmm. How nice of you to notice. <laughs> the humor is wild. I love the humor. Big news. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. That sounds fantastic. You know what I remember most about Monkey Island? The time you busted me out of jail right before we went there. I don't cruise ships anymore. But maybe you can still help me out. Like you did all those years ago. Yeah, I'm sort of planning on hijacking an existing crew instead of recruiting one. But maybe I can spring you anyway. For old time's sake. I would be most appreciative. A locksmith has opened very conveniently across the way. I'm told locksmiths can make keys for things. Uh, things like cell doors. Imagine that. Awesome. <laughs> it's interesting for sure. It's an amazing humor. Also, hi, Jake. I am kind of warm and cozy. I mean, I'm wearing my sweater at home, which is sad. I also have my heating on, which is double sad because this winter is going to be cold. And heating prices are high. Um, but I guess I can't live without it, at least in the living room. So I'm kind of warm and cozy, but I am... Mostly happy and excited, Jake. How are you doing? How are you doing? That is sad. It seems so early. I mean, September 19. The day I turned my heater on. And I needed it. I really needed it. It was like 18 degrees Celsius in my living room. But it feels like 8. So it's very, very cold. I have like... This, this here is my blanket that I use on my couch, actually. And it is very warm. And it was still freezing. I was crocheting this afternoon and my hands were ice cold. So, not good. Not good at all. But I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're good. What did they get you for this time? I'm a victim of circumstance. Circumstance being that too much attention gets paid to little things that don't hurt anyone while hard killers roam the streets with pistols and swords. <laughs> he didn't say what he's locked up I for. I noticed you didn't say what crime they locked you up for. It was nothing. I was just picking some flowers. In the forest? Uh, no, that's illegal. I learned my lesson. I picked them from the governor's garden instead. Huh? Uh -uh. Picking flowers from the governor's garden? Sounds like an unwise choice. We Definitely. used to be friends. Sort of. Anyway, they aren't even her flowers. Taxes pay for them. It's public property. I don't know why anyone bothers me about it. I don't hurt anybody. Well, except the flowers. <laughs> They're annuals. They're doomed anyway. Guybrush, you've got to get me out of here. They're it's doomed custard anyway. night. I don't think I can take that again. I'll make it my number three priority. Okay. Thanks. <laughs> Goody. Time to walk the doggy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Watch your boots See in you here, son. Again. It's like a swamp without the clean parts. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. <laughs> it says, jail rules. One, no escaping. Makes sense. <laughs> How's your day going? So tell you, it's so nice seeing you smile, knowing you're having fun, it makes me smile. That's so nice of you to say. Like, I am so excited about this. I am probably one of the biggest fans of Monkey Island, and seeing this happening after like 30 years, it brings me so much joy. Like I am I'm genuinely happy today about this. I even <laughs> I even accept you the art like style of the game. A good time. That's nice. <laughs> I even accept this. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Hey, Stan. Hello there, son. Stan is the best. Oh, sorry to see you in jail. Thank you, son. I appreciate the thought. I'm sorry to see me here as well. He's the funniest guy. <laughs> I was really hoping to buy a ship from you. Well, now, normally, I would do absolutely anything to get you into a comfortable ride right away. But my hands are tied. They're shackled. I can't do it. Not at any price. I'm completely out of inventory. Every ship on the lot was seized by unscrupulous lawyers who don't care about your sailing needs the way I do. Okay, don't worry about it. I've already got a plan to steal a ship from LeChuck. 
Well, if you don't get killed, look me up afterwards. I'll give you a good price for anything that can stay above the waterline. Heck yeah. Naturally, it'll have to be store credit until I get back on my feet. Okay. What did you do that got you arrested? Let me tell you something, son. It's not what a man does that matters. It's who he is. Maybe one day, in a moment of weakness, he crosses a line. But if he's confident about what's in his heart, he can hold his head high. And you know what's in my heart, son? Blood and goopy stuff? <laughs> People! People are in my heart. Anything I may have allegedly done, you can be sure I did it because I care about people. Well, what did you do? What exactly did you allegedly do for people that got you arrested? I gave them what they wanted. Now, naturally, people don't always know that they want the things they want. Sometimes it takes a man with a talent like mine to show them the way. And sometimes people who are jealous of that sort of talent will try to put all sorts of unpleasant labels on it. They use hurtful words like scam and misrepresentation and even fraud. Sounds like It's scam. all just marketing, son. As natural as the rocks and the trees and the Malay Island flounder birds. And that's why I'm not worried. I'm awaiting final judgment of the court, but I'm certain I'll be acquitted. They don't hang people for marketing. Mm. Didn't you used to have a law practice or something? Used to, but I was disbarred for what we former law practitioners call moral turpitude. What? Is that a real word? More what or is less, that? It's one of those handy catch-all words that you can use whatever you want because it doesn't mean anything specific. <laughs> it's wild. <laughs> Jake, Stan is the best character of all times. So he's just an idiot. <laughs> Would it help if I broke you out of jail? Now that's a kind offer, it truly is. Warms me to think that you'd do that for your old pal Stan. I mean, I but once I've put him in a, in a coffin. Objects. I don't want to damage my case, and escaping from jail doesn't look good at trial. So thanks, but no thanks. Okay. Well, is there anything else I can do for you? Now that you mention it, there is one thing I've been missing during my time here in this lofty establishment. In all the rush and fuss and document shredding surrounding my arrest, I completely forgot to grab my toothbrush. If you happen to be passing by the shipyard, you might grab it for me. It'll be on my desk in the office. Okay. Sure thing. I'm going after the secret of Monkey Island. The secret? Boy, that takes me back. To 1990. if you're looking for help, 19. you're barking up the wrong enchilada. Just remember, life has no guarantees or warranties. Only jamborees. Wow. Thanks. That's advice. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son. But thanks. Okay. See you later. Yep. I think there's nothing else around here. They say the only real prison like is it. the one in your head. But take it from me, that's a load of... At least the jail is well lit. Yeah, but the better I can see it, the worse it looks. That is true. Wait, that was something about what? Hey, guy brush. Hey, kid. Where did I don't remember this place being so leaky? They finally installed running water. Okay. <laughs> so, we need a key. Welcome to my shop. Hi there. Hi. Handsome looking parrot. And also vicious. But it was my mother's favorite. At the end of the plank. My mother's. Please don't touch it. Okay. I'm not touching anything. What's this lock? That's for hats. What's that lock? It's meant for bachelors to secure their apartments. And please, don't touch the glass. Okay, I cannot touch anything. I see a peninsula trailing off into small islands, but no X marks the spot. It's southern Florida. I have family there. These are nice. It's a locksmithing test. Close it all up, and if you get the key out, you pass? That's the beginner level, yes. The real challenge is to lock the larger box inside the smaller one. What? What's that key? That's for a lockable quiver. What's that key? That one is only for going in, never for coming out. This is wild. Are these for customers? Hands off. Those are my last crackers. I see everyone in that portrait has lovely locks. If you have to make a pun, at least make a good one. 
Is that from a famous locksmith band or something? My mother's band? The Golden Keys. They were named after some actual Golden Keys that she spent a bunch of time looking for. What is that? It's definitely not a key. Or a lock. It's a fishing lure, of course. Uh, of course. Uh, of course. Can I buy How it? much for the fishing lure? It's not for sale. This is a locksmith's shop. Perhaps you saw the sign outside? No. That's an impressive machine. Yep. This wouldn't be much of a lock shop without a key grinder. Makes sense. Can I buy anything? Let's talk. I'm Guybrush Threefoot. Pleased to meet you. I'm Locke Smith. You're kidding, right? Nope. And before you ask, yes, they did. Yes, it was. And they really, really wanted me to follow in the family business. Okay. It's really clean in here. Do you have a mop I could use? I simply don't allow filth to accumulate in the first place. Try somewhere a little less sanitary, like the bar by the docks. Can you really make keys for stuff? That seems like a magic trick. Modern locks have serial numbers that tell me all I need to know. No tricks necessary, just information. So I basically need the serial number. It seems wrong that you can make Which a key from just the serial number. Read. It's a fail safe in case people lose their key. You know how people are. Aren't locks way less secure if all you need is a number to get a new key? That's why you should never share the serial number with anyone. But if it's on a lock? What happens if you lose your key and the serial number at the same time? The numbers are usually engraved on the locks, just in case. And if you lose the lock, chances are you don't need a new key. What's to stop me reading the serial number on someone else's lock and having a key made? The numbers are printed small enough that you need a special tool to read them. Only a pro would have a tool like that. There we go. Can I borrow your lock serial number reading tool? My magnifier? Not a chance. I could be drummed out of the union for that. If you want to play locksmith, you'll have to look elsewhere. Okay. Who's the old lady in the window across the way? You mean Whitey Bones. She used to be the undertaker here years ago. Seems to know a lot of things that maybe don't quite Here's fit together. Johnny. We get a raid! Broadcast from Mars, hello! Hi there, thank you for the raid. Welcome in everybody. Martian raid. Cue the alien music. <laughs> Hi there, how are you doing? Welcome in, let me give you a shout out. I need to pause this now. Um, my mod is currently out with the doggo. Now let's so I have Goodbye. this. How is Stray? Oh my god. How is Stray? Stray is such a lovely game. How far in, in the game are you? I enjoyed Stray so much. How are you? I'm Mars's friend, mod, and constant source of headaches. Well, we all need a constant source of headaches. My uh, friend Modern Constant Source of Headache is currently walking the doggo. Hi, it burns. <laughs> Welcome in. That's so much fun. I'm in a J level. Oh, that one was a hard one. Uh, it's full of stealth. And this girl sucks at stealth. Um, also, I have this little uh, raid screen, actually. Uh, so for those of you who don't know me yet, I am Lou. <laughs> and I currently have no schedule. <laughs> but I am... I've just started playing Return to Monkey Island. Uh, Monkey Island is my favorite game series of them all. It's my entire childhood. And um, yeah, we're going to play this for as long as it takes. And then it's probably going to be Spooktober soon. So in Spooktober, I'm going to try to play some spoopy games. And that's uh, that's it, basically. Yes, I like I like the cozy stuff, actually. So that's all you get to know about me. Um, also the resident pun gremlin of her channel. <laughs> you have a schedule, it's called whenever you feel like it. That is true. Um, although I am currently working on getting back to a schedule again, uh, which is probably going to be Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and then the occasional weekend one. Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it, it burns. <laughs> appreciate it very much. Welcome in again um that is the best schedule it is it is it's been nice uh during summer to just roll with it and then just be like okay today i feel like streaming but i kind of like to have 
a schedule for like people to know like I'm I'm gonna be here um, especially because I like to know when someone's gonna be live so I know this is where I can be now and I don't have to miss the person for too long so that's my take on that but it's been a nice summer <laughs> not gonna lie um sorry to read and run but i have a real life kitty to attend to feeling <laughs> overlone demands tribute i get that mine is sleeping on the couch lucky lucky me um but yeah appreciate the raid thanks again very very much i hope uh you have a lovely rest of your day and take care of kitty take care of kitty thanks for the lurk appreciate it i shall go back to the game um and open it up again there you go <laughs> same I ask Morris and other friends hey you want later not because I have always step aside but I really just like watching friends whenever I can right it's always good to know that at this time your friend is gonna be there and you can just hang even if it's just lurking and having them in the background it's always nice to know I can count on you <laughs> So this is why I want to have my schedule back. I know that during summer many people were just traveling around and, and doing stuff. So was I just enjoying summer again despite COVID. And we had this special ticket for entire Germany for a very, very low price for an entire month. Uh, so I could travel around through the city with my best friend and it was a good time and I just decided to eat my schedule for a while and I was actually trying to get a new schedule before summer so I think now as of mid-September more like end September I just want to pick up a new schedule again and that's that's how we're gonna go now that's how it is hi Rez hello welcome in how are you are you enjoying it very much so far i have been giggling a lot <laughs> i'm the happiest little girl because this game the entire franchise was my childhood and i'm just so thankful that we get a new new part of the whole story what is this oh. filth on my keyboard so yeah i'm i'm extremely happy um and to be honest, I, I've been one of those people that looked at the new art style and I was like, mm, this is more like Picasso's Revenge. It looks weird. I don't really like it, but I'm getting used to it. And I think considering that this is something that Mr. Gilbert wanted to have like this, somehow it is a very special art style. And I think it's pretty cool that it is like that now. What's 213, the number of games you have on Steam you need to play? No, it's actually my 213 stream. I've been numbering my streams. So I know how many times I have streamed in my life. <laughs> um, yeah, thank you. Thank you. It is wild. 213 streams in about one and a half years. It's crazy, right? I like that though. Like I'm a very happy, happy lady. That's what I am. I'm a little lady. <laughs> Just to say it like lady little misfortune. I'm a little lady. <laughs> Let's keep on going, but tell me how you're doing, Rez. Did you say it? I mean you said doing alright, but just tell me anything you want. I'm I'm here. Just talk to me. How well do you know Whitey Bones? Not well at all, but she's been living near my shop for quite a few years. She was across from my old location, too. Would she move when you moved? I'm sure it's just a coincidence. I'm on a quest to find the secret of Monkey Island. Exciting. The story in my family is that the secret is sort of like a key. One that opens all locks at once. I want that key. Been better did... did what? Flat? Flat? Did you beat it? Didn't tell you before? I don't know if you did tell me. It sounds familiar, that information, but... You platinumed it. Well, that is... That is a major GG. That is crazy. Congrats. That's awesome. Trying to figure out some stuff in my life so it could be better. That's a classic, though. That is a classic. I think we all 
try to figure out Jeff all the time. Me included. So, the good thing is, in knowing that, you're never alone because we're all in this together. We're all in this together. I'm sorry. Ariel, much love to you. How are you doing? I've heard Tojo's working on it. The cal. Do you say calluses or chalices? I never know. It's such a pain in the ass. Eh. I'm back. Feline Overlord has been sated. How's Monkey Allen? Well, we're currently trying to get um, a key for the lock in in jail to help Otis out of jail. But I don't think we're going to have it. But if it is a key, could you duplicate it? If it, it is a key, could you duplicate it? I'm not sure you're supposed to take it literally. Eh. Mm, can all relate, right? I think everybody, everybody's dealing with something or many things. So the good thing is we're all, we're all together. I read this a few days ago on Instagram, funny enough, like there's this cute little cartoon page that I follow and it was something like the, the very best comfort we all have is that in feeling lonely, this is something that we all feel together. So it basically doesn't make us feel lonely. I'm tired, eating and watched a video. I'm off to bed now. Have a fun stream. Take care, smoochies. Smoochies to you too, Ariel. Sleep, sleep well, sleep well. Let me, let me tuck you in. Let me tuck you in. Let me tuck you in. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Sleep well, my love. Okay, let's keep on going because I've been talking a lot. Tell me again about how to have keys made. It's exciting. You bring me the serial number from the lock. This is what we're going to have to do. It's pretty straightforward. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. I've got a system, and I don't like it disrupted. I just don't know how we're going to get this. Um... Can I try out your key grinder? <laughs> no. I wouldn't want you to lose any fingers. Too bad. Come on, can I please try your key grinder? Seriously, I don't much care if you grind off a finger, but I don't want to have to clean up afterwards. Okay. Then, no. Okay, there's nothing around here. Cryptic graffiti. I think it's a chandelier. Cruise. It looks sort of like an eye. It does. Uh, can we go there? Let's check out the governor's mansion. It should be there, though. Ooh. There are the flowers. Where are the piranha pools? I'm sad. What does it do? Take the way back way to the island's interior? I'm confused. <gasps> the map looks so amazing. Okay, I actually like the map. The map style is fucking awesome. But we're gonna go here first. <laughs> I'm too excited, I'm sorry everyone. Carla. Heck yes. Boom. Guy brush three wood. The sword master. Yay! Let's have a battle. <laughs> or not. Hello, Swordmaster. Prepare to taste my blade, you washed up hack. <laughs> when was the last time you had a bath? Ha! That was marginally clever. It's nice to see you again. You too. <laughs> That's so funny. I love this. We're all for unbridled joy here when something cool happens, right? Yes! <laughs> Thanks for the lurky res! Thank you so much. Um... You should never have given up being Swordmaster. Oop, was that... Who says I did? Oh, sorry, I just assumed. Governor that was like lightning in the thunder? It is. But there's room for overlap if you're creative about it. I heard from your wife. She's coming by to talk about scurvy legislation. I assume you're involved with that somehow? So just in case, if I am gone all of a sudden, that's either OBS and I'll be right back. If I don't come back, then 
that was lightning in my house. <laughs> Seems like we're getting a very, very bad storm now. Creepy as fuck. I've got my own project cooking. Of course you do. If it isn't about the scurvy project, why are you here? I'm going back. I'm looking for the secret of Monkey Island. Heck yes. Good for you. I don't have it. <laughs> Best answer. <laughs> I love this. Elaine says Captain Madison is hurting her scurvy project. Not the legislative part, just the public funding. The town was in a bind a while back, and that so-and-so Captain Madison saw an opportunity. She lent us the cash we needed, but now we're up a creek paying the interest. Things like social programs, waste management, and town maintenance are all on the back burner. I like that woman less every minute. You and me both. Yeah, Captain Madison sucks. Big time. We could all use the joy we can get. That is true. That is true. Sometimes it just has to be childhood memories that make you as happy as you can be. And that is that. I'm here for all the laughs. And I hope that my happiness can just give you some happiness too. Well, the mansion hasn't changed much. Elaine's style is still everywhere. Even the books are hers. They're my books now, as you well know. I don't what? really have anything to say. I just like doing this. <laughs> Practice is nice, but I'm busy these days. Governor stuff. Oh, we have all the books now. We can take the books. I tried to read that once, but I couldn't finish it. Warning. Do not try these tricks at home. Does not include Secret of Monkey Island. Oh. Too bad. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. It's thicker than I would have imagined. By stupid Captain Madison. Note to the reader. No disguised secrets are revealed in this book. Okay, why is this one purple? The blurb says it's a solid if somewhat predictable story about a roguish pirate and a doomed romance with a woman of station. Mm-hmm. Ugh, looks like Carla wasn't too keen on getting her portrait done. <laughs> she definitely wasn't. I've always thought this looked like my old ship, the Sea Monkey. <sighs> I'm gonna poke it. Yay! That's so sweet. What about this thing? I like your stuff. I uh, guess it's a dog? Please, take that and throw it away. It was a gift from the Earl of Thickwater, who is a contemptible pig. Give me. <laughs> Give me the stuffy. It's a lot of work being governor. It is, apparently. Okay, we're talking again. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Ooh. Practice is nice, okay. but I'm busy these days. I Covenant wish we could stuff. do the actual sword fight. That'd be so fun. Stay out of my bedroom, Three Wood. I've seen that same painting on a box of frozen instant cereal. Elaine told me that's Lauder Neckbeard, second governor of Melee Island. His overly strict morals and overly lax regulatory policies helped make the island what it is today. I think we've seen everything now. Let's have a look at that beautiful map again, because it's so nice. Look how great it is. Forest. Do we have anything else? We should go to the shipyard. That's everything, though? I think it is. Whee! Wow. That's worse than I imagined. That is extremely bad. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. More like Tans. It says Tans previously owned vessels. So sad. Stans used to be the best place to buy used ships. That is true. The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? I need to get the toothbrush. 
How do I get it though? Ooh. It's a dried up old sea sponge. Gimme. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. Can I have it? No. Ponder the mooring. There was a time when every board. mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. So sad. Oh, I can gaze at the moon. It always looks bigger on this side of the island. No. Look how cute it is. Remember happier times? I remember when these torches lit up Stan's previously owned vessels like a carnival. How did I get in there? The window's all boarded up, and it's very dark in there. Is that an old toothbrush? I was supposed to bring the toothbrush to Stan. Okay, that's all I can do, though. This used to be such a bright, cheery place. It was. Guess I can't get in there. Mm. Let's check out the forest. Ooh. Warning. The dark oh, forest ahead here. is deadly and twisty. Maps are highly recommended. <gasps> Eyes. Ooh, a trigger card. Well, I didn't check for the trivia card in in the shipyard. Oh, I used to love these when I was six. Museum of Pirate Lore. Museum of Pirate Lore. I used to love these when I was six. Until I got trapped in one for two days. <laughs> I think they're illegal now. Once upon a time, I won a t-shirt right here on the front lawn. Hi there. Good times. Welcome to the Melee Island Museum of Pirate Lore. I'm Conrad, the curator and docent here. I also edit the Pirate Times newsletter. Here, take my business card. Uh, thanks? The museum showcases the largest collection of pirate memorabilia in the Caribbean. Or on Melee Island, at the very least. The provenance of each item has been very carefully researched and fact-checked by myself and my team. Feel free to explore. And if you have any questions, just ask. I want this. What can you tell me about this eye patch? That's the pride of the collection. It belonged to Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. Supposedly, it had voodoo powers that would disguise this it. Is what I we tried need. it on though, and nothing happened. There's some very tiny writing on it. The display case is locked. Obviously. Eye patch worn by Captain John Laney, the pirate of a thousand faces. What was this cinder you've got on the wall? Oh, that. Yeah, that was an unsent love letter written by Elaine Marley while she was governor of the island. What? Ooh. Elaine? The recipient was referred to only as Plunder Bunny. That's me! It was a really touching letter. Unfortunately, I put the candle too close to it. What did it say? Tell me what she said. Oh, you know, love letter stuff. Honestly, I don't remember a word of it, but it was touching. Rude. Thanks a lot. Okay, maybe if I ask again? Actually, I think I'd rather not hear about that again. Okay. That is a really big parrot. Wonder how many hands it's eaten. What do you feed it? Thieves, mostly. Good to know. It's a working parrot. I shouldn't bother it. What's the story with the wanted poster? That is the earliest known wanted poster for Captain Kate Capsize. You can tell how notorious she was by the huge number of crimes listed there. Very mm, impressive. That is from I Monkey got it from Island a too. On Fat Island. Those are my own crimes, actually. I was pretty much public enemy number one on Fat Island at the time. I stuck Kate's picture on there so she'd get thrown in jail. <laughs> that would never work. Nobody's that clueless in real life. It works. You don't though. believe me? It's not a question of belief. Never mind. It's not important. Did it just say spoiler alert? I love this. What's this melted lump of metal? It used to be a mug. It was melted by some kind of acid. Oh my god. It was found in the melee jail many years ago. After an incident where like 20 pirates escaped. Hey, I did that. <laughs> spoiler alert. I had to keep alert. pouring the grog from mug to mug because it was melting them. I had an armload of mugs and I juggled them all the way from the scum bar to the jail. Also, I could get Otis to join my crew. Not my greatest decision in retrospect. That's a pretty wild story. I'm telling you the truth. I'm sure you are, but it just doesn't quite square with the official record. So it's hard to substantiate. Substantiate? 
You've got an eyewitness. Eyewitnesses are notoriously inaccurate. Human memory is plastic and suggestible. Not That's yours, so apparently. No, of course not. I deal in facts. That map looks familiar. That's one quarter of the original map to the treasure of Big Whoop. I got it from the cartographer on Low Street. Apparently, he was somehow involved in the search for Big Whoop. About all Wally managed to do was get kidnapped by LeChuck's henchmen. True. That's not the way he tells it. I'm just trying to help. Thanks. I've got it under control. <laughs> That's the note LeChuck left when he kidnapped Elaine. That's true. Whoopsies. How on earth do you have that note? Oh, yeah. That's very interesting. That was found tucked inside of a book at the Fat Island Library. It's the actual note left by the ghost pirate LeChuck when he kidnapped Governor Marley. I know what it is. The lookout handed it to me just before I finished my three trials. Uh, I was crushed, but undaunted. I gathered a crew and I sailed to Monkey Island to save her. Not that she needed it, as it turned out. Wow, man, you're really into this. I've got a role-playing group on Thursday nights. This is absurd. It's like this whole wall is stuffed from my personal adventures, but somehow I'm not even mentioned in your stories. That's what's so great about this museum. Everyone makes their own connections with the Welcome exhibits. Back, and it's highly personal and different for everyone. That's not what I'm trying to say at all. That's okay. You don't need to say anything. Just listen to what the exhibits tell you. Fine. <laughs> That's so rude. That's my own memories. Let's laugh about the hook, the hook here. Is this a left hook or a right hook? That once belonged to the dread pirate Meat Hook. Supposedly, he was ambidextrous. Also, he used to live right here on Melee. True. Tell me about this hunk of wood. That's an original plank from the Golden Hind, autographed by Francis Drake himself. What? Are they giving Uncharted stuff in here? I mean, in the end, <laughs> Uncharted stole Monkey Island, so that is kind of funny, actually. That's a nice coffin. The one with the ore. Yeah, the coffin had a lot of water damage when I got it from the voodoo lady in town. But I managed to restore it. It was God. used by a certain well-known captain in a daring escape from a Turkish prison. Uh, the water what? damage is actually from the swamp on Scab Island. Hmm, unlikely. The prison in question is nowhere near Scab Island. You should think about hiring a research assistant. Yes. Oh, I did. Unpaid, of course. Intern. Who was that, though? What's the significance of the peg leg? That belonged to the infamous peg leg Patty. She used to hide a spare cutlass in it, in case of capture. Sadly, that's the reason she's no longer with us. Well, that guy is completely useless. I don't even want to talk to him anymore. <gasps> Crackers? It's Cracker Mix. Some assembly required. That is mine now. And another trivia card. I see you, Mr. Raid. Yes, you did. Broadcast from Mars brought some friends over. And we've been having a good time. <laughs> like, whenever you leave, then raids happen. That's, that's the thing here. Like, you need to leave so new people can join. <laughs> Oh my god. Am I gonna fuck up this again? Where can you find brambles? I'm pretty sure this is Monkey Island 5. And I completely forgot everything about it, so... No idea. Do I have to answer this yet? I hope I don't. This is also something I don't know. How many mop trees are there? What are mop trees? If, if this is what I think it is, then there's two. Whose wedding veil can be found in LeChuck's cabin? Probably Elaine's. Wow. 
where the heck is Bermuda? I'm pretty sure this is this is the last this is Tales of Monkey Island and I remember nothing. Because I hated it so much, like I only played it through once and completely forgot that it even existed because hate. Hate, hate, hate. Okay, what else is there? Mmm. <laughs> wow. Yes, wow. I'm sorry. I need a hint? No. I just wanted to check how this works. I want to go back to the shipyard. Because Look, there it is. Because I kind of feel like... There must be a trivia card that I didn't find. How dare you? How dare I what? no trivia card it looks like there should be one I mean then again I I basically checked everything it should be kind of like hidden but I don't think there is one at least I don't see one maybe I'm blind but no forget about the game for me it's the worst of them all it's like I seriously hated it on so many levels, I, I'm sorry. It is what it is. <gasps> Look at this! It's Pinson! Hello! Oh, it's so good to Why see you. you. How are you doing? Oh, it's so good to see you. Isn't that a trivia card? No, it's not. Who asked me about Louis? Hey, Cobb. <laughs> Hard to believe after all these years, you're still here. I was declared a historical landmark. He is indeed. Tell me about Tell Loom. Tell me about Loom. Oh, I'm so sick <laughs> of pirates asking me about Loom. Get lost. No! Then why don't you take off the ask me about Loom button? My grog riddled body is fused with it. <laughs> I'm more button than man at this point. Oh, come on. Tell me about Loom. For old time's sake. Beat it. Say it. No. Say it. Fine. Yes. You mean the latest masterpiece of fantasy storytelling from Lucasfilm's Brian Moriarty? Why, it's an extraordinary adventure with an interface of magic. It is indeed. Stunning, high resolution 3D landscapes. Sophisticated score and musical effects. Not to mention the detailed animation and special effects, elegant point-and-click control of characters, objects, and magic spells. Beat the rush. Go out and buy Loom today. Loom is amazing, actually. Yes. Now get lost. Mm, I got an achievement for this called fan service. I love it. More tired than a sleepy turtle. However, I'm managing, well... As my my doctor said, everybody's tired. Currently, I went to the doctor and I was like, "Hey, I'm currently sleeping a lot. Like, I'm going to I'm going to sleep for like 12 hours." As I did last night, by the way. It's like my body demands 12 hours sleeps, and that is not normal and except for anything else like he didn't help me. All he said was like, "Well, everybody's tired right now." <laughs> Thanks for that, doc didn't help at all but okay but I hope uh, your tiredness goes away real soon although it's kind of fall now so I guess we're all gonna be more tired now even more tired the day I'm gonna sleep for 24 hours that's gonna be the story of my life <laughs> but I'm so happy to see you how have you been Yeah, the place does seem different from what I remember. A it's bit. this new, younger generation of pirate leaders. It is. All their highfalutin dark magic. Look at us. We're so much better than you because we don't drink grog before getting married. <laughs> These kids today are all about sacking and pillaging. They've got no heart. So, working, I assume. 
Well, but I hope you're doing well. Except for the tiredness. Ah. It's always so nice to see people that haven't been here in a while. Like, it, it makes me so happy that you still remember me. I don't know how to explain. It just makes me happy. So much. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Wanna come? I heard the secret is just some marketing gimmick Stan thought up. That only the Ooh. gullible and naive would go looking Look. for it. Hey, Lulu. Nice talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I remember and never forget stuff. And people, am I stuff? <laughs> It'd be okay if I were. I don't like those new guys. I kind of don't want to stay with them, but I have to. Eh. Gonna go past them though. Nice and hot. I wonder how long I could stand here before bursting into flames. I'm not gonna stand. Guy brush three foot as I live and breathe. It is oh, the actual did. cook. I love it, Peachy. Peachy. How's Elaine? She was always my favorite governor. Also, she covered your tab when you stopped coming in. Still in public service. Fighting scurvy now. Hey, my Lulu. place is clean. Our health certificates are up to date. No, no, it's not like that. She's got a foundation. They're trying to promote limes as a preventative. How's oh, your day, Lulu? Well, tell her I say hello. I got everybody juice boxes! Heck yes. I still have some lemonade left. And I haven't burped yet. Do you know where I can buy a mop? Buy? You don't want to buy a mop. I, I have think water I do. too. The mop is the formal tool of a cook. Not as clumsy or random as a dish rag. An elegant tool for a more civilized cleaning. You cannot hope to succeed with the mop of another. I can't? You must construct your own. A single perfect instrument that you will keep and use for a lifetime. I well, see. let's hope it doesn't come to that. Once you build it, the mop will become your constant companion, your tool, and a ready means of defense against spills of all kinds. Uh, okay, this is wild. It? The wood is the heart of the handle. The heart is the handle of the cook. You are one. Not helpful so far. You must find a particular tree a tree uniquely suited to the handles of mops. Carve your handle from a limb of that tree. No? Any questions? <laughs> day was good, had my short work day and visited Sky. How's Sky doing? My day was good, like I've been waiting anxiously for this game to finally be downloadable. Um. So, in the meantime, I just ate and crocheted a bit, but I was like, come on, I want to download, I want to download, and here we are. But I have decided to not make super long streams with this game, so we can just chop it up into smaller streams. So, I will probably be streaming four hours today with this, um, and then again and again, hopefully for a long time. You never know. This guy's doing good, awesome. How do I find, How do I tree, find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is because this is your own personal journey. Okay. What about the head of the mop? Oh, you have to have one, of course, but pretty much anything will do. It's mostly about the handle. Four hour streams? Yes, I think I should not be too wild as I was with a Spirit Fair in the end. So. I mean, four hours is a good time, I think. So it's not gonna be too late. Um, what kind of wood is the tree? That is something you must discover for yourself. Okay. Are you sure I can't just buy a mop? Yours, for example. No, you've got to make one. Trust me on this. Okay. Okay, I guess I'll do it. What's wrong? You gave the story the wrong title. 
It should be called Mob Quest. <laughs> when do we get to the piratey parts? Well, even the coolest professions involve more mopping up than you would think. I, it seemed crazy to me at the time, too. But don't forget, it was all so I could board a ship, take command, and sail to Monkey Island. But True. first, I had to make a mop. Also, get the trivia card. Stay away from my mop! Okay, I tried it. <laughs> Yuck. Pests or garnishes? A good cook sources local supplies when he can. We also have maggots here. Active little guys, aren't they? Can we have them? No? The food is more exciting when you can smell the risk. I kind of want to see the, the little statue now. The plaque says, in memory of looming seagulls of old. Aww. I think someone tried to secure a boat with this. That looks wild. Get something from here. I don't think we can get anything. I can sniff. Ugh, I remember that stench as if it were yesterday. Not good. Okay. Hmm? Looks like a mugshot. Okay, I have to make my own mop. So I assume we have to go to the forest and find a tree. Is that, is that a person hanging out of the window? I guess it is. Look at this it's a little fishing thingy. But I feel like I'm gonna need a map for the forest. Another baddie. Okay, let's check out Wally's again and see if we can get a map. Wally, can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. Okay, maybe talk to him. If you pay for it. Never mind. Okay. Hey, Wally. I'm looking for a tree to make a stupid mop from. Have you got a map for that? So the cook has sent you on one of his spiritual journeys? Yes. It's been a while since I made one of those mop tree maps. What kind of tree is it again? I don't know. A wood one? That's okay. <laughs> Just bring me a sliver of the wood and I can work it out from there. I'm that good. A uh, what now? Bye. How am I gonna get that? Oh, I can take another one. Better to have one for each eye. If you say so. <laughs> okay. How am I gonna find the tree? I mean, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be in the forest. I kinda need to get to the... to the map again. Whoop. gonna be lost god it's even oh it has the music i loved the forest music when i was small when i was a little child i loved it Purple so flowers much. these must be lavender or monk's hood or cyclamen what the heck <gasps> monkey <laughs> hi noah how are you doing your monkey mother is the happiest today a classic specimen of a lot of needlius a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny, sharp teeth. Oh, can I have it? No. Another one. Ooh, mushrooms. <laughs> it's you, Alex. I'm returning to monkey. <laughs> I'm still gonna be lost. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Yeah, we need one. I'm still gonna go back. I just did such a massive workout. It took three and a half hours and I became monkey. Oh, geez. I'm gonna go this way. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. Okay. 
What if I go this way? Just for fun. Just for the fun. I'm hopelessly okay. lost without him. Okay. I'm just trying this so I I don't know, like I I'm hopelessly lost without a map. I need a map. Can I like how am I gonna get this? How's my little mom doing today? I am excited and happy and I have no words. I have no words. I'm just super happy. Hey, Wally. Okay, that doesn't help Bye. me. I need a map. Can I buy Wally, one now? Can I have one of these maps? Absolutely. Okay, I cannot. If you pay for it. Can I map? Never mind. <laughs> I need a map. How am I gonna find the? I am confusion. Make a mob. Let's talk to <laughs> Whitey Bones, maybe. Things are not what they seem. Okay. Looks like a volcano island with horns that swallowed a basketball. Okay. The note it's says, not in there. forced to close. Thanks for the memories. Or Jack Monkey, would have been better. come map. Hey, Guybrush. Hey, kid. Hey. So I cannot Jail. read this. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. Maybe Stan knows where to get a mop. Hey, I don't know why. Stan. Hello there, son. I've been to the shipyard. Your office is all boarded up, with your toothbrush sealed inside, presumably. Well, don't worry yourself about it then, son. I found a dead centipede in the corner that should do until they let me out. Ew. Okay. See you later. Yep. <laughs> Guy brush, you gotta get me out of here. I'm I'll trying. Make it my number three priority. Okay. I'm trying. I'm not succeeding. Huh. I need to come up with an idea. Maybe it's in one of the books. Maybe here? Or maybe in the ingredients book. Can I borrow a book? You've got a lot of nerve asking that. You never brought back the last book you borrowed. I had to buy another copy. You never even apologized. I totally forgot. Of course you did. You think like a cow. <laughs> what? If I die for a second, no, I'm still working. I currently have seven streams up. Jesus. Big supporter. I like that. But please don't die. Not even for a second. Can I borrow it now? Can I borrow a book? If I pay for it? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even... I'll pay for it. I don't need your money. But... Help? Okay, I can't have it, I guess. What if I talk to her? Well, I cannot talk to her, though. Huh. There goes my idea. Pretty sure this head here can be the mop head. It makes things look bigger. I'm not missing anything on the map though. I'm an idiot, I have no idea what to look for. I 
have to bounce, gonna clean some stuff up, and hopefully go to bed soon, too. Alrighty, then. It was nice to meet you, too. Thanks for coming in with the raid and hanging out. Um, as I said, keep in mind, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, that's probably gonna be my schedule, and we're definitely gonna play more of this real soon. So, hope to see you again. Have a good one. Sleep well as soon as possible. Oh no, I wanted to talk to the cook again. Maybe the cook has another hint. Oh, you look like the health inspector tasted your stew. Or you did. Worse, Marlin Marlin is here. Who? The customer I have nightmares about. He's the only importer of yak fat on the island, so I need to keep him happy, but he makes that impossible. Today he wants me to make him a dish that he ate last week at some kind of event at the governor's mansion. But of course he doesn't remember what it's called or know what's in it or even remember what color it was. He says he thinks it has ingredients in it. Wow. I don't have the slightest idea what to make. If I brought you a recipe, could you make it? Of course. I'm a cook. <laughs> See the hat? Oh, look behind you. A three-headed monkey. I do know a great stew recipe for monkey heads. <laughs> I can't think about that right now. Mm, okay. Where did he say he had the dish he wants you to make? At the governor's mansion. It's probably some exotic, weird so another thing book. from a swanky cook. I see that it's going to end up with me having to get the book somehow. Can I ask you again about the mop I need to make? Sure. Remind me how to find the mop handle tree? I can't tell you exactly where it is, because this is your own personal journey. What kind of but wood how? did you say the tree was? I didn't. Okay, thanks. Well, it's definitely a mop. Stay away from my mop! Cannot steal it. I hate this. I'm gonna talk Are to you. Him sure, again. I can't persuade you to back my expedition to Monkey Island. Let's pretend I was really considering this. What sort of pirate qualifications have you got exactly? I mean, all of them. I completed the three trials. Trials. It's how they used to make their bones in the old days. Well, I was a director of combat operations for the British Navy, and I've written two books on ship-to-ship -ship tactics. I'm a founding member and co-director of the Red Fleet, and hold records for civilian casualties from San Domingo to Venezuela. I'm an expert in 17 forms of hand-to-hand -hand combat, three of which I invented. I served with Bellamy, Teach, and Roberts before they each met an untimely end that I might have had nothing to do with. Just so you know, this is the kind of resume we expect. Oh. They suck. Big time. Oh, that's the guy. Hi. Are you my waiter? I want the excellent dish I had at the governor's mansion last week. I, I don't know what it's called, but it was sort of, you know, a hot food. Yeah, but I'm not... It had ingredients in it or something. I'm not your waiter. I already told your incompetent cook this, but he still hasn't brought me my dinner. I don't work here. <coughs> I'm not a waiter. Hop to it! Uh, right away, sir. Nancy. Can I have it? Okay, so this guy is useless. Everybody is useless, I feel. Hmm. Hey, Spoo. There's nothing around here. How am I gonna get this? What kind of person would just paint on a wall like that? This place has kind of gone downhill. Elaine would never have stood for this when she was governor. There's nothing around here as well. 
I don't know where to get it. But I don't want to ask the the hint book. See if we can find out something about the meal. Well, I've come for a recipe, a dish you served at a recent function. It's been described as hot and having ingredients in it. Ring any bells? I do host plenty of functions. But I'm afraid I don't have any idea what you're talking about. I don't really have anything to say. I just like doing this. Practice is nice, but I'm busy the these days. Chill. Governor style. The music is lovely. I'm so glad they kind of kept the style. Ingredients. Can I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. What the? What Can the? I borrow a book? You never brought back the last book you borrowed. You never even apologized. <gasps> now I know. I'm an idiot. I have I'm the sorry. I have the forgiveness yeah. frog. I'm hearing the words, but somehow they aren't helping. I need more than that. <laughs> I keep forgetting that I have an inventory. This is for you. You're giving me a frog? It's a forgiveness frog for when words aren't enough. You haven't even bothered to write anything personal on this frog. That's just rude. I reject your frog. What? Okay. I'm gonna... Write something on the frog. Dear Carla. Dear Carla. Sorry for losing. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. Um. I admire, I admire that you are hard on softness. And I always tell people how nice you are. Please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. There you go. This is for you. Dear Carla, this is a nice sentiment. But the only personal thing you got right in here is my name. I reject your frog. Excuse me. Well, apparently a forgiveness frog doesn't work if the apology you write on it isn't good enough. Okay, I need to make it better. Dear Carla. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I realize that you are tough on toughness. And I know you're really nicer than people say you are. Please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. There you go. This is for you. I hope it works. Dear Carla, this is a nice sentiment, but the only personal that is not thing true. you got right in here is my name. I reject your frog. Stop rejecting my frog. I don't know what I should write. <laughs> I have no idea. What can I do? Thing, Dear right? Carla, 
sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. And everybody says how nice you are. Please accept my humblest apology. You scare the heck out of me. Let's try it like this. This is for you. Dear Carla... Hmm. I feel like this is not going to be good enough again. This is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. No! Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to like what did I do this time though? Okay. Dear Carla. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I think I did I do this. I yes, value right? that you are dedicated to dedication. And everybody says how nice you are. Please accept my humblest apology. Let's let's try this I again. I promise to do better in the future. There are so many ways to do it. I have no idea. This is for you. Dear Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. The question is, One what is thing. right? You can do better. I reject your frog. No. <laughs> I'm gonna need help. I'm definitely gonna need help here. Ah! Dear Carla. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. I feel like this is the one that's correct. And I always tell people how nice you are. Please accept my humblest apology. You scare the heck out of me. This is for you. I'm bad at this. Dear Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. How is it just one thing? I reject your frog. Stop rejecting my frog. My frog is wonderful. Dear Carla. There are so many possibilities. Sorry for the book I borrowed. What if I, I do this one? I appreciate that you're keen on bluntness. And I know you're really nicer than people say you are. Please accept my humblest apology. You scare the heck out of me. This is gonna take a while. This is for you. Dear Carla, <laughs> this is a nice sentiment, but the only personal thing you got right in here is my name. Okay. I reject your frog. Okay. Okay, I did something else, so. What's definitely right is valuing. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. So this I is the correct you one. I value you are dedicated to dedication. Okay, I'm gonna try with this. And everybody says how nice you are. Please accept my humblest apology. I've implemented a reminder system for myself. This is for you. I should have done this with a system. Dear Carla, <laughs> this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. Well, what else should I know about her? That's the issue. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. And I always tell people how nice you are. Please accept my humblest apology. Even though it wasn't really my fault. 
This is for you. The stupid frog. Dear Carla. I reject your frog. Mm, I can see this happening again. Not really your fault? This isn't an apology. It's an excuse. I reject your frog. <laughs> I tried it. Okay. Dear Carla. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I value that you are dedicated <laughs> to dedication. And I always tell people how nice you are. Please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. This is for you. Come on. Dear Carla, <laughs> this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. You can do better. I reject your friend. There aren't more things. That's the issue. What am I supposed to do? Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. And I know you're really nicer than people say you are. Please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. She is annoying indeed. This is the nicest apology that I've you. done so far. Dear Carla, this is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing you can do better. I reject your frog. I'm gonna keep on trying this. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I value that you are dedicated to dedication. And I know you're really nicer than people say you are. Please accept my humblest apology. You scare the heck out of me. This is for you. Dear Carla. Thanks for the lurky Galico. This is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. Should there be One more stuff? Thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. Jesus Christ. Okay, now I'm at this point where I want to consult this. I thought so. I thought so. I need more stuff to put in there. What did I miss though? There's not much information about Carla. Hello, Mr. Brush. Hiya. Didn't I get the crackers? Especially fortified for the healthy parrot diet. I found some cracker mix. You could bake fresh crackers in your furnace. Thanks. The ones on the plate were getting a bit stale. Take some if you want. Don't mind if I do. That already sounded good, though. She's just ungrateful. That sounds like Carla, though. Um... Hello again. Hey, Shpoo. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Okay, I have crackers now. What can I do with the crackers? I've got enough to last me. Hmm. There's a kitty oh, in the window. Oh, keys are gold. It's the way of keys. Huh. Property foreclosed by order of Madison Enterprises. 
snazzy sign. Well, he's done well for himself. They're having a half-off sale. Well, the voodoo here must be authentic, culturally, and historically accurate. It's not going out of business. This place is an institution. The problem with this statue is it's not a statue of Elaine, the best ever governor of Melee. What am I missing? We had this. Re-elect Governor Carla. She's dedicated to dedication. She's dedicated to dedication. That is what we actually have been using. What if we talk to this guy? Hi again. Oh, those new pirate leaders are real jerks. They laughed at me. And they won't fund my expedition. Why didn't you warn me? Would you have listened? Of course. Okay, no, <laughs> probably not. Probably not. We all know you, Godbrush. I detect a certain resemblance here. Yes, it looks a lot like an owl, doesn't it? Hi there, little guy. Hi. Hi there, little guy. The assets of this establishment have been seized to settle a class action lawsuit. Have a nice day. Oh, I just found the trivia card. Ha! It says, Tan's previously owned vessels. Stan used this to clean his ships. It's all rusted out now. There was a time when every mooring would be filled with one of Stan's used ships. Hmm. The thing is, there is not much other stuff about her, except for this was the place Museum where she lived. Of pirate lore. Maybe if we talk to the stupid guy. Do you have maps of the forest here? No, that's not really what we do. Try the map shop in town? I'm Guybrush Threefoot. No kidding? Wow! Are you named after Guybrush Threefoot? Uh, I guess you could say that. <laughs> nice. I'm going to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. Oh, that's excellent! Super retro! Heck if you yes. need a place to display it, I know a convenient museum. <laughs> no. Your museum is <laughs> quaint. Thanks. It's been a personal passion of mine. I'm nuts about old timey pirate stuff. Old timey? Being around it really makes you feel like you're a part of something. Doesn't it? I am part of something. Exactly. The heck was that? That was a weird sound. I'm just gonna check real quick if Kitty is okay. Give me a second. Kitty is okay. He just pooped and somehow did something around the bathtub. Let me check my phone real quick because it's going wild and I need to check my blood sugar since I am here. Are any of these things valuable? The security parrot isn't just here to look piratey. 
John Laney's eye patch is irreplaceable. It's the highlight of the collection. Amazingly, I got it at a yard sale. They didn't know what they had. Well, tell me about that newsletter of yours. The Pirate Times. We publish pirate news, pirate stories, pirate poetry, all things piratey, really. Awesome. I see you wear a peg leg, despite having both of your original legs. Just part of the docent's outfit, for the tourists. Kids always want to try it on. That's charming and creepy at the same time. I don't like that this guy. This is a museum for people who think attacking ships and murdering the crew for profit sounds fun. Touché. I'll have a look around. Please do. We had his card thingy. Pirate Times. Editor, Conrad Lee. Ready to publish your unrecognized genius. Also, we have a new trivia thingy. I have no idea where that is. That is all questions about... Oh. I think it was that one. I'm gonna have all the questions wrong that are for Tales of Monkey Island. This is gonna be so embarrassing. But I really hated that one. Jeez, how am I gonna get anything more about Carla? Oh, another trivia card. Wasn't there the one before? I need information and I don't get information. Ooh. Does she hang out anywhere? No, just at home. Snacky snack. I'm hopelessly lost without a map. The thing is, I need a map. So there's nothing around here. The only thing we could try is be at the docks and talk to the pirates again. In here. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Good for you. Spooky. I'm gonna find the secret of Monkey Island. Don't sound much like pirating to me. Okay, that's a no. Maybe just try it again. Whoops. I clicked out of the screen. I'm sorry. There are no posters or anything, so... It doesn't really help. Also, the fact that nobody's really talking about her doesn't help. So basically, all I can do is just try. I love you too. <laughs> I love you too. Fourteen months. Thanks for the resub. Any monkeys on the island? Not yet, actually. That is the fun thing. Ugh. Looks like How Carla wasn't doing? too keen on getting her portrait done. How you doing, Alex? Do the shout out, please. Or is the stream crashing again? I never know. There you go. How's New World? Doing well. Are you well fed though? <laughs> oh wait. Edgy. Oh, that's nothing. Sedge. Okay, let's make another apology, Frog. You had some great PvP. So it was awesome. That makes me happy. Dear Carla. That makes me happy. Sorry for losing the book I borrowed. So I value that you are dedicated to dedication. Heck yes. And I know you're really nicer than people say you are. Please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. I think I did that before and it didn't work. This is for you. Dear Carla, 
This is a nice sentiment, and it looks like you even know something about me. One thing. You can do better. I reject your frog. I feel like this is my life now. I reject your frog. That's a lot it's of work being governed. My absolute life now. Okay, honestly, let's let's check the hint book a bit more. I have searched Low Street. Well, this is what I did. Okay, let's go back there again. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> Also mad, thanks for the game. It's been a lot of fun so far. I just suck at it. <laughs> we didn't read the plaque, Honoring right? Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santo Domingo. Honoring Melee Island's 27th governor, Carla the Swordmaster, for her heroic actions at Santo Domingo. Okay, that is all, so let's, uh, let's check the frog. Dear Carla, sorry for losing the book I borrowed. I value that you are dedicated to dedication, as shown by your actions at Santo Domingo. Please accept my humblest apology. I promise to do better in the future. Yours truly, Guybrush. Let's hope this works. Maybe I need to find something else, but I hope I don't. Take that frog. This is for you. I reject your frog. Dear Carla, I'm impressed, Guybrush. Surprisingly thoughtful. Considering it's you, I'm strangely moved to forgive you for losing my book. And I'll treasure this frog as a memento of the time you did something right. Look at me. Now I need this one. Can I borrow this cookbook? Yep. You cook like a cow. That's why I need the cookbook. Oh, <laughs> all right. I was upset after you lost the last one, but you seem genuinely sorry, so I guess I'll give you another chance. Thanks. I won't let you down. I'll definitely return this. Kitty is enjoying some chest rubs after pooping on my bathroom floor. Okay, did I get the book? I think I did. Um, exam. It's a cookbook. It has four stars, but it looks like they're for difficulty. Okay, we're gonna bring this to the cook. I think that's gonna be a bit faster. Um, also question, since we have about like 50 minutes left, should I continue this on on Wednesday as for my plan of streaming on Wednesdays now um, or would you rather have me stream something else in between would you like to keep on going with the story pooped on the floor now pet me yeah that's basically spooky in a nutshell and he's also drooling on my hand now Good thing I said I'm gonna bring back the book, but... I found this at the governor's mansion. Aha! Uh -huh. The mystery dish must be in there! I have no idea which one it'll be, so... I'll just have to make them all. I'd better get to work. Thanks, Guybrush. Hmm. Well, currently I would actually say it's gonna be Sims. Or some Cult of the Lamb. This will be excellent! Although I feel like we could keep Cult of the Lamb for Spooptober, just to play it in between other games. So, because it's, I mean, it's basically a spoopy game somehow. 
You know? It's Carla's copy of really Ingredients by Barbie LaFleur. He'll never complain again. So yes, probably Sims. Let's try the deck. Let's try the deck again. I can't understand why this is taking so long. Just bring me what the governor served me last week. Of oh, course, sir. Week. Sorry for the delay. What's on my to-do list? I still need to find that tree, and I have no idea how I'm gonna do it. Also, this always looks like it's a trivia card, but it's not. So the question is, how am I gonna get that map for the forest? Do Monkey Island Monday and Friday and put something else for variety on Wednesday? Don't ask me why, but I feel like it'd be more consistency if I did it on Monday and Wednesday and then something else on Friday. I don't know why. I think that'd be like, breaking it up too much. Wally, I need a hey, map. Wally. Tell me again what you need to make me a map to the mop tree. Just bring me a sliver of the wood needed to make a mop. Bye. Well, I have no... I could probably use... Oh. Maybe if I use the knife on the mob so I can get a little piece of the mob. That's probably a far take, but... But the space between it's Wednesday like to Monday is bigger as Monday to Friday or not? I mean, it's basically the same somehow, from the feeling, you know? Can I snatch it now? Uh, well, I have the mop now, apparently. Oh no, I don't have it. Keep your hands off my mop. I mean, I tried. Ooh, I got an achievement, Mob Heist. Ah, ingredients indeed. Mm. There you go. My idea was correct. So I have the little... I carved it off the cook's mop handle. Good times. Good times. I don't know why he keeps saying good times when I also keep saying good times in real life a lot. Okay, let's go to Wally. I could also play this on that small screen here. Here's a sample of the wood you wanted. Can you make me a map now? Ten minutes later. Sure. Here it is. Thanks, Wally. Thanks a bunch. Okay, we have a forest map, I hope. Or not. Oh, here. Excuse me. Okay. Well, we're gonna find that out next time. N not next time. Now, now, in, in, heck, in the wood. <laughs> Hi, Jig. Boop. You're still here. I'm happy to see you. Are you enjoying this? I hope you are. To the lookout. I could have gone to the map easier, but I guess no. Okay. No, I want to look at it. Alright, so I go in and write at that thing and then write at that thing again. I don't know what I'm saying. Okay, 
that way. And then at that thing. So, mushroom. Mean plant. Mushroom. Oh, wait. Mean plant. Mean plant. Mean plant. Mean plant. Mushroom. And here we are. Oh, look how cute it is. When I get I am yes, keep getting interrupted with the phone and then my laptop kind of crashed a couple times. Oh heck. I don't want to jinx it, but at least uh, OBS has not been dying a lot. I don't know, sometimes it just happens and I don't know why. Mind your mama, little prick the kids. Hey little fella. Wow. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Melee Island mop handle tree. It's like there's a welcoming committee. The distinctive shape tells me this is the rare endangered Melee Island mop handle tree. Well, what do I do now? Do I cut it off? Is that even allowed? No, I don't even know. Several hours later? Christ, what has he done? Did he kill the entire tree? Dear God. Oh no, they're all terrified. What the heck? Why is it burning? They're all crying. I must have startled them while I was whittling. Some animals are quite skittish. They're all sad. Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. It's what nature is for. What is this now, though? Another resource has given its all in support of my personal goals. Oh, Jesus Christ, Guybrush, you are a useless little fuck. Hey, you little dear. Hey, you little dear. She's crying. They're all so sad. I hate this. I need to leave. Oh my god, my heart. I'll take a shortcut back. Many hours later. How could he? I kind of want to... I made him this. up. There you go. So I have a mop now. It's a single perfect instrument that I will keep and use for a lifetime. <laughs> I need to get that. How am I gonna get that thing now though? It's soft and extra fuzzy. So next thing is I need to get the, the eye patch. The thing is, for getting the eye patch, I need to be able to read that stuff. And I don't know how this is gonna happen. I'm basically. Hi there. Hi. Hello again. Yeah. I think I'll browse around a bit. Try not to touch anything. Come on, can I please try your key grinder? Seriously, I don't much care if you grind off a finger. So how's the game compared to the but old ones? I don't want to have to clean up afterwards. Except for the art style, it's basically the same. It has funny 
moments like the humor is amazing um it also has nice puzzles so far as i can say i mean they're not easy i went for the hard mode as usual um so yeah it's it's actually fun and i'm getting used to the art style i mean it's it's not the old style and obviously they forgot about all the old time fans when they made this but this is what ron gilbert wanted and i'm happy with this i guess what the fuck? <laughs> those those tiny hands um but yeah i i'm actually enjoying it i am enjoying it hard mode is hard hard mode is always hard but i like the the hard mode of this game can i have this book at the end of the plank my mother's please don't touch it the same book is in in the governor's mansion yeah everything is okay heck yes it is <laughs> hey Guybrush! Hey kid! I need to be able to read the little numbers. I think there's some writing on it, but it's too tiny to read. I don't know how to do it though. Hey Stan! Hello there, son! Are you sure you don't want me to break you out? 115%, son, but thanks. See you later. Yep. I don't remember this place being so leaky. They finally installed running water. If one monocle is good, two is better. I can read the serial number. I'll write it down so I don't forget. I just had this idea, I went for it, and look at me. Also need to do the same with the other place, with the museum thingy, which is definitely more important. Can't believe I just had this idea. Mm, what was it here? Ah, crystal clear. I'll just write that down. Awesome. Nope, we're not gonna ask about the hook. We are gonna go to the locksmith now, finally. <laughs> no guts, no glory. Oh, I'm trying my best here. Hi there. Hi there. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. This will be for a high-end display case. You a collector? Uh, yeah. Stamps. Nice! This is the number for the jail cell lock. Can you make me a key from this serial number? Sure. Good choice on the lock. These are really sturdy. It's the same kind they use over at the jail. Oh, wow. <laughs> what a coincidence. I had no idea. I had no idea. Like, <laughs> whoopsie. Oh. Okay, that's free little hey, Otis. Guy hey, kid. Um, <laughs> appreciate the jail cells. This cell. is awesome. Now I can open one of the jail cells. <laughs> This, the authorities have reconsidered your case Achievement. and decided hey, you should go free. I'm very grateful to the authorities and will not mention their name should any awkward questions be asked. Good luck, Stan. I hope you get acquitted. Oh, it's in the bag, friend, but thanks. Mm, I don't think so. I'll stay on this side of the bars, just in case. I can't even look at this one. Any writing that was once here has been rubbed away. Okay, now let's go to the museum again. Oh. 
it's not supposed to be unlocked. I'd better fold this and put it in storage. Then I can figure out what's wrong with the lock. Looking good. I like things neat. That's folded perfectly. I'm gonna do now. That'll do, so Parrot. Stupid. I'm gonna have to ask you to leave the museum while I figure out what's going on with my display case lock. Heck. Okay, I fucked that one up. Um, I suppose I might have to feed the parrot. Welcome back. Please try not to touch anything that seems like you're not supposed to touch it. to do, Elaine? Issue a proclamation? Of course not, Carla. We'll need to generate public support. I'm working on that. People around here don't like any kind of restrictions, even if it's for their own good. But we can put a requirement on ships traveling to the north. There's already a customs check, so the infrastructure is all What's in this place. Though? Well, it's a start. Scurvy's a big problem. Let's do all we can. Agreed. I've come a long way. Is there anything else on the agenda? Coffee? <laughs> Coffee? <laughs> hey, Pratik! How are you doing today? Thank you so much. Look at your follow age. That is a long time. A long time indeed. How are you doing? Okay, I need to bring this to the voodoo lady. Corina. Sitting on an airport in Bali. Awesome. I wish I was there. I wish I was there. Can you fix this? Ah, the famous eye patch disguise of John Laney. Fix it, please. As I suspected. Magic has long since drained away. Good. Great. So, can you charge it up again? I can. If... If... If you bring me one more thing. A particular charm of great power. What you is You couldn't it? have told me this earlier? I could have. You must bring me the bite of a thousand needles. Then, I will recharge your eye patch. The bite of a thousand needles. Is it that plan? Be a tiny bit more specific. No. All right. I'll see what I, I feel do. like it's the it's the mean plant or the hedgehog, <laughs> but they're all crying now. Let's go to the woods again. Oh no, this oh, either way is shitty. I think it's maybe the stinky plant. Like this one. A classic specimen of Alata needleus, a carnivorous vascular dicot known for its tasteful coloration, slight wiggle, and loads of tiny sharp teeth. See? So maybe if I cut that one down. Gotcha, you pointy little tricky fight. I'm so smart. I am so smart. <laughs> Good thing I've been playing this for a long time in my life. There you go. Bite of a thousand needles. Tell me. 
Is this an ancient, powerful charm, or simply a plant you found in the forest? You were pretty opaque about what you wanted, even for you. I took my best okay. shot. Very well. You've always been the close enough sort. True. Thanks. That is true. Okay. Come, spirits of deception and death. Drink your rejuvenation and awaken. Death? It's nothing to worry about. John Laney, this hapless boy needs your help. Hey. Take pity on him <laughs> and bring him the power to hide from his enemies. Well, you don't have to put it like that. <laughs> She has to, though. That's it? Unless you want the extended service warranty. <laughs> no thanks. I'm not a sucker. What do I owe you? Maybe try it on first, before we discuss payment. Well, how do I look? Yeah. <gasps> this is cool. What the heck? I look like a zombie. Is it broken? One does the best one can with the materials provided. I love I'll it. Just wear it when I really need to. Oh my god, that's amazing. Ugh. You're welcome. I think I'm ready to set sail. Heck yes, we are. Should we talk to her once more? Will I succeed? Achievement depends mostly on the definition of success. Got any other mystical advice or information for me? No. Okay. Nope. That is so exciting. I love this. We got the mob. So I should wear this now. Hi there. You must be the quartermaster. Yep, you look like a guy without many options. I need a swabby. It's B Y O M. So, show me a Bring decent your mop own job ma skills. mop. Okay. Uh, do I have to show it? How's this for a mop? Oh, I think that might be someone I used to know. Eh, good enough. Mm -hmm. You're hired. Great. We'll be getting underway soon. Why don't you come on board and I'll introduce you to the crew? I'm excited to see my stateroom. When's a good time to discuss the benefits package? Threepwood's on the Chuck's ship. He's got some kind of disguise. From the bargain bin, it looks like. So what? You don't think this could be a problem? We didn't plan for him. I knew I they were not evil. knowing what's going on. I should have taken him out the minute he walked in here. Don't worry, we'll know what's going on. Yeah? How? I've got a spy on board the ship. Walking Madison. Look at Chucky, my boy. I love him. I love him. Hey, Jinstred. Hello. Ahoy. <laughs> How are you doing today? Ooh, what's that ship? I think that's actually a good place to stop it somehow. For today. So Not once that I want you were on to. the Chuck ship, you turned the tables on them. You whipped out your sword and said, I'm your captain now. Take me to Monkey Island where you'll all walk the plank. Uh, more or less. The name's Gullet, but you're not to call me that. To you, I'm the first swab. And I want to hear the capital letters when you say it. Capital One. Got it. And this is the old. You'll be spending a lot of time down here. I thought we'd have a union or something. How much time is a lot of time? All of it. You work here. You sleep here, you take your meals here. Forget the world you knew before, this hold is your world. The okay. hull is your ground, the deck is your sky, and I am your deity of choice. A cruel and vengeful deity. I only have one simple rule. You are not to leave this hold under any circumstances. That sucks, Any though. questions? 
It's like pornography, you'll know it when you see it. Wait, what? What exactly? I'm knackered, been working at the Queen's funeral. Oh, jeez. It, it went on for hours. It was super long, right? It was like 10 hours or so. But what did you do, though? We have an insider now. That's interesting. But yeah, we had this in the beginning of the stream. And what a magnificent woman the Queen was. Seriously. May she rest in peace. I think about preparing for work. I'll see you again soon. Alrighty. I'll be back on uh, Wednesday. Just so you know, Jake. Work 12 hours, 5 a.m. star, lots of standing. I guess so. That is hard. I know 10 hours standing days from my last job that I worked, so I know how hard it is. Can I leave the hold? But, no! <laughs> I just wanted to ask. What happens if I leave? I said you're not to leave under any circumstances. Well, I, I know, just hypothetically. What if I did? The worst punishment you can imagine. Which is? I throw you back down here. Nothing's worse than this. Huh? <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> Where's my bunk? You might be all right inside one of the crates. Otherwise, be sure to cover your eyes. The chickens like the peck. But it's probably safest if you don't sleep at all. So funny with the, the egg instead of the chicken. Now reinstalling World of Warcraft for my sins. For your sins? <laughs> but Spot, it's been a while, I know. But other than that, how are you doing? It's exciting. What's for dinner? Oh, we'd like a bit of dinner, would we? Yeah. Ah, perhaps we could arrange a bit of roast duck under glass for your majesty. <laughs> yeah, maybe? But seriously. And learn to catch rats. You can drown them in your mop bucket. They make their own sauce. Um, what if I need to, um, you know? Use the porno. Don't get anything on the ledge outside, though. I hate an unsightly ledge. What am I supposed to be doing exactly? No recruits. You're all thicker than the chickens. <laughs> uh, is that the whole answer? You're supposed to be swabbing. What the heck I is that? this old sparkling as if it was clean. Now, get to work. <sighs> Cold in your computer room. Yo ho, tire its life for me. Yo ho. I feel that though. Like, I turned on my heating today because I couldn't handle it anymore. It's an inspirational instructional pamphlet that I'm supposed to carry around and read. Well, I'm gonna take it then. Okay, that is a lot. Get on board a new crew member pamphlet. Copyright LeChuck or it's reserved. It's cute though. Get inspired, follow LeChuck's lead, betray trust, throw tantrums, commit fraud, overstay a welcome, bear false witness, destroy the beloved, destroy the beautiful, threaten bodily harm, commit bodily harm, murder those who get in your way, condense from the book the LeChuck way, get to work, don't get fired, the ship is enchanted to be unboardable by anyone but our crew. That includes you, so don't worry about it. Unless you get fired, then worry. Okay. Awesome. You shall get the teddy. You shall get it. There you go. Boop. I'm actually gonna set the timer. Because... I'm currently easily getting a headache, so. I like the chickies. At least they don't smell like live chickens. More chickens? <laughs> it is Murray! Murray! Indeed, I am Murray, the all-powerful demonic skull. But you have me at a disadvantage with it, zombie man. Have we met before? <laughs> uh, yes, at a demonic skull party. I recall a clumsy bartender spilling a lava guavatini on my necktie. I should have taken off that my must have been you. necktie. My and you plague me patch. now just as before. A curse of painful boils on your left foot for exposing me. 
I'm here undercover, gathering valuable information for the exquisitely devious Captain Madison. Madison? Very interesting. Ooh, oh, no. I probably should not have said that. Do me a favor and keep it to yourself, withered zombie man. No He's problem. mean now, though. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. Don't be mean, Murray. How come you're working for Captain Madison? I thought you were your own man. Uh, Skull. I owe her a favor. It's none of your business. Can I take off my eye patch? I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. Okay. More importantly, is the taste of after chicken the same as the aftertaste of chicken? <laughs> Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. No way am I picking that up with my hands. I wonder what it's made out of. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh. Oi, you missed a spot. Come on. I hate him. You missed a spot. Is that your catchphrase or something? Oi, you missed a spot. It is Seriously, his get some new dialogue. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi, you missed a spot. Oi, oh, nuts. <laughs> Why do you owe Captain Madison a favor? I well, ironically, I was sealed up in a crate, and she freed me. Oh, you mean like I just did? It's not the same thing. It is, though. What exactly is Madison up to? I would be a poor spy indeed if I told you that. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Well, I'm going to keep on asking. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. But you should tell me. Come on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish okay. us both by asking. Knock it off. Well, I can't see much through this thing. What if I feed the chicken? I can taste it. I don't it. think so. Nope. Nice chicken. Don't bite my fingers off, okay? I need more. So I can feed them all. I already have some chicken feed. Oh. The steaks were mean. I'm nice, I feed them all. Now I'm gonna go upstairs. Going somewhere, Swabby? You haven't cleaned up that mess. Get back to mobbing. I'm feeling just the slightest twinge of regret about the choices I've made up to this point. Yeah, same. I feel like this is Looks not like going to stop, though. Oh, nuts! Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts! Looks like you missed a spot. Does it stop at some point, though? Nuts. Can I use something? Hmm. Oh, the timer is up. This man is rude. He is indeed. I do not like him. Also, Zombie LeChuck has a hole in his head. That's wild. There is nothing else left. What if I no way am I picking that up with my hands. Okay. Hmm. Ugh, I'll keep my distance. Mothers are more vicious defending their young. I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Close enough. I'm swabbing up everything now. Because I'm a swabber. Oh, 
hold it right there. You come up when I say you can. But just never. <laughs> more ears. I demand more ears. Well, I have the... I have the sheep ears. And I have the deer ears. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I feel like I want... Uh, there's zombies, I, not ghosts. Yeah. Spot. Oh, These are nuts. all... Zombie, ghost, chickies, whatever. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Oi, you missed a spot. How am oh, I gonna get nuts. out of that? You missed a spot. Oh, I kind of would like to take Oi, this. Oh, I got an achievement spot. called Super Swabby. Oh, nuts. You missed a spot. Ah. Oh, nuts. What if I cannot just maybe take the crate and then. I need to put something there. I wonder what it's made out of. I don't even want to know. How can I leave this place? Heck. Pirate Times. Editor, Conrad Lee. Ready to publish your unrecognized genius. What if I stab a chicky? I cannot stab a chicky. Okay. Hmm. I haven't worked out where they keep the ship's horse yet. This was a good idea. They magnify stuff even better since I stuck them together. I've got enough to last me. I better leave it on while I'm on the ship. Can I do something from here? Oops, sorry. <laughs> nice try, Swabby. I told you, you live down there now. Get back to Mobbin. What can I do? Anyone? Come Ideas? on. Tell me what Madison is up to. You diminish us both by asking. Knock it off. Yep. I'm screwed. Yes. Can I unscrew this? Boy. These are really wedged in there. Really screwed? Yep. Boy, these are really wedged in there. Okay, doesn't work. It should work with this. Boy, these are really wedged in there. This one? Boy, these are really wedged in there. If I do it with all of them? Boy, these are really wedged in there. Yep. Well, I can't see much through this thing. No way am I picking I that up with my hands. I use the grease with the screw, maybe. Swabbing everything now because I'm I'm lost for ideas. Maybe it works now. Boy, these are really wedged in there. Maybe I need to pick up the grease first. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. And then use it in here because now it's greasy. I'll just put a little dab on there. You know, because it's a grease, so now it should be easier to screw it off. Ha! Look at me! I'm so good at this. Tight fit. I can't quite squeeze through. Well. No way am I picking that up with my hands. I can mop the missed a spot. Oh, nuts. 
so Got it. I should fit through that now. Sadly. Ah. The grease helps. A little. This is now a slightly greasy porthole. Do I need to grease myself up? Looks like you missed a spot. I hate that oh, guy. Nuts. You missed a spot. I don't know what I'm doing. Nuts. But I feel like maybe if I can. I don't know you what I'm doing. A spot. Oh, nuts. It doesn't help the, the way helps. I thought I was like. A little. Maybe. Maybe it helps to grease up the floor. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. Wait, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I don't know why though. What could help me though? The grease on the chicken? I'll let that one alone. She's got an egg. Close enough. I don't know I why, I, why I'm doing this right now. Oh, nuts. Poor chicken. Oi, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. There you go. Looks like you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I'm putting grease Wait, on everything. You missed a spot. Oh, nuts. I think it's chicken grease. I hope my roommates don't get upset. The rest of my gear is in there. I hope it'll be safe down here. It's probably fine. This is now a slight... The grease helps. A little. Hmm. I don't know what else to do now. Maybe that wasn't the way it works. Okay. I'm gonna ungrease everything again. Close enough. Okay, that doesn't help. Why did I do that? I think that was a bad idea. <laughs> I can grease it up more though. Wait, you missed a spot. Oh, nuts. How much you grease can I put there? Spot. Oh, nuts. I've got a good feeling about this, but I won't fit through with the mop. It's working. Look at me. Okay, that's creepy. I can't see anything. It looks like it'd be more useful for fishing than stopping. I can't see anything. 
This one doesn't open. That's a big rudder. That's a big rudder. Well, that didn't really help. Also, why is it suddenly just eight minutes? It is officially ten minutes that he can hold his breath. He cannot climb in this one. This one doesn't open. Blah, blah, blah. This is blah, a bunch blah, of empty blah, containers of blah, monkey blah, blood and squidding. Blah, blah, this is how blah, they get to blah, 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 Monkey Island. Feast your eyes on this, me hearties. The one and only map showing the exact location of the secret of Monkey Island. Yeah. 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 The map will be kept in my cabin. Awesome. No one is to touch it or disturb it in any way. Now, before we can follow the map, obviously we must make our way to Monkey Island itself. Let's have the potion report. Wait, there's a potion? You don't remember that from my other story? To get to Monkey Island, you have to brew a special potion. That makes an explosion. But you and LeChuck had both been there before. Why couldn't you just sail there? Mm, it doesn't work like that. You have to make the potion every time. How does the potion work? I don't know. Nobody does. It's magic. It just helps you find Monkey Island. What's in it? Oh, um, let's see. Uh, it's got squid ink and monkey blood uh, and a pressed skull. I definitely remember that. Also, cinnamon, mint, and brimstone and some coloring and preservatives. Oh, and a live chicken. But listen, you shouldn't worry about this yet. Wait till you're 12 or so. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think I got it. The potion is nearly finished, Captain. All that's left is one flattened skull, and we'll be ready to cook it. Excellent. You there, in the back. New guy. Mm -hmm. You look familiar somehow. Just a little bit. Do you ever go to swabby conventions? <laughs> well, no matter. Go and get us a skull. A flat one. Any questions? Nope. Nope. Be quick about it. Better not ask any questions. Adjourn. There goes my boy. We'll finish the potion and then I'll see about getting my hands on that map. I think I should. End the stream now. What do you think? Anyone want to see more? Or should we continue this on Wednesday? Nice looking skull you've got there, Apple Bob. Now, before you get any ideas, I'm a ghost. My skull won't work. And Putra already asked. Why don't you stick your own head in the pot and see what happens? Relax. And four I'm hours, yes, that's true. I'll find a skull someplace else. Schedule. One bell, crew voting. Two bells, the chuck shouting. Now's not a good time to attract attention. That's true. The very first item in the ship's safety procedures is never to try to pet scruffles. But. Must pet the kitty. I can't pet the kitty. I'm gonna try it once more. Well. Scruffles. I'm Excuse me, your captainship? I told ye to find a flattened skull. Do it! Before I decide to use yours instead! Arr! Don't you hurt me! It's weird, I just wanna... I wanna keep on playing. There's nothing you need up there, new guy. <laughs> 
The crow's nest is up there. Wow. Gotta go. Gonna... I've got a job to do. My condolences. Oh, well, I said it myself that I'm... What the heck is this? I said myself that I'm gonna stream for four hours and then we're gonna continue um, the journey on Wednesday, so... Let me find out how to save... I don't even want to end because I love it so much. But someone has to, right? Can I actually, one second, settings, video. If I keep it like this, it's going to be in the background. So we still have the, the music in the background. <laughs> I'm an idiot. Anyways, we're gonna find someone to raid then. I will definitely continue on Wednesday, so no worries there. Let's go here. Thank you everyone for being here for that wonderful occasion. I'm so happy that I finally got to play this. I mean, we all, everybody who got the game finally got to play this. <laughs> Not me talking nonsense. As usual, it's kind of like my life. Anyways, I'm excited. Um, thanks for... Heck, that was too fast. Well, thanks for the raid <laughs> to broadcast from Mars. Thanks for the follow to It Burns. Thanks for the resub to Mad. Uh, and thanks for the game to Mad, actually. Um... I will not raid someone else playing Return to Monkey Island because of spoilers. So I'm gonna see who else is alive and then we're gonna raid them. Um, let me see. Let me see. I'm gonna find someone. Ooh. Sage is live and it's been a hundred years since we been with Sage. Sage is playing Cult of the Lamb, so that is pretty cool. Um I'm gonna raid Sage. It's been ages. And I miss Miss is it like I don't know, she I think she changed her pronouns actually. I think it is she they now, but I'm not fully sure. Yes, it's she day, so just to make sure I know how important it is. Especially to her. Them. Heck. <laughs> My brain. <laughs> thanks for sharing the socials in the Discord, and thanks for sharing our raid messages. Everyone, I'd really appreciate it if you hung for the raid. I love you all very much. I shall see you again on Wednesday for four more hours. Of return to monkey island i am fucking excited i have said it a lot of times now but i mean it i honestly mean it what a day what a time to be alive i'm excited <laughs> i wish i could keep on playing by myself but i won't do it i won't take this amazing journey from us all I'm gonna have to be patient. But we're gonna play this on Wednesday, and then if I'm on a roll, we're gonna play this on Friday as well. If not, we're gonna play some Sims in between and then just see how it goes. Anyways, thanks again, everyone. Much love to you. See you on Wednesday, probably at around the same time. I might be here at like 6 p.m., I guess, Central European. It's been a while since I said the time, but we need to learn to come back to schedule. Anyways. Have a good one, everyone. Stay healthy. Stay safe out there. Mwah! I love you all. Bye. No. Oh, nah, please. Why'd you suddenly remind me of a... Uh, wait. What? What was that noise? Oh, it was reading. It was reading Dami's message. This is for all of us who act up. Okay, so for... <laughs> what's up blue how are you why are y'all why are so many raids today i'm nervous hello how are you
<laughs> that's you with the triple raid last night it was so wild too there were so many raids like back to back hi lou how are you how are you doing i miss you so much i hope you're doing well thank you so much for the raid welcome mid raiders my name is sage i'm a cozy content creator i play a lot of really cute games uh i play mostly indie games today we're playing cult of the lamb uh there's a uh content warning for you because it might be a little unsettling uh it's not it's 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 Artistically, it's cute, but there are some themes in it that might be a little much uh, for some people. But I hope you're having a great day, Lou. How are you? I saw you. I was like, haven't seen you in a while. <laughs> so here I am. I miss you so much. I hope you're doing well. I haven't seen you in a while either, actually. Um, have you been on socials that much? Not you getting a coffee with the whole coffee maker in your kitchen? I like Vietnamese coffee. What is the problem? It's delicious it's delicious what's the problem and i do have a nice little coffee maker or not little it's a nice big coffee maker but um you just caught me in the middle of me talking about my cosplays because somebody said i look like gita and i remember i did a cosplay of her but yeah so sometimes i do sometimes i do cosplays sorry for the booba <laughs> sorry for the booba um but yeah Actually, summer has been lovely and I was streaming with that schedule, so it might have been that. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. I've been doing pretty good. I've been chilling, hanging out, uh, turning this page mad aggressively in this game, I guess. And I was reading, what was it your essay? Hold on. So I was reading your message, I think. Let me lose some weight and I'll hit you a, uh, hit you, wait, and I'll hit up some